All right, all that said, guys, it's time to get this started. Load game. Junko, thank you, Sheely. I couldn't remember her name. Okay, which was our latest one? We have a couple on the 16th. I think this one is, yeah, right here. Chapter one end, this is it. Oh, that's what it was, the um, baseballs. That's right, he was like tied up and pelted with baseballs. Yeah, that was gruesome, Sheely, oh my goodness. We didn't really get to see the aftermath. Uh, they didn't want to show that, thank goodness. <laughs> that's right, it was 11037, the leet speak frost, that's right. We don't even have anything to say after that situation. Everyone's just kind of in shock as to what happened. So we're back, I guess we're in our room, but is this the room where she was killed in? I guess they probably cleaned it up nicely. Yeah, no more body. It's gone. She, she really is gone. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. It's just like he said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Oh, I don't think we heard uh -huh. this before. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispense of all the corpses. How nice of him. <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted smiling faces is enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. Ridiculous, I love it. That's the Iron Maiden thing I was thinking of, Sheely. Thank you. It's like, where did I get that from? Okay, good. It did happen in this game. I'm not just imagining it completely. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's death. Well, Sayaka was trying to use us, so I'm not sure how much we really need to mourn her at this point. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke, a sickening dream, but I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the bear cleans up Hasifa or if they actually have caretakers. We haven't seen anyone else. Sorry I'm late. So, um... Hey, are you okay, Makoto? Listen to me! You sure took your sweet time. I was just about to go and get you and drag you back here. Sorry. Hmm. Hmm. So, what happened? Was your room fixed up like he said? I imagine it would be pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Hey, come on. He's just joking about it. Jesus, that's f***ed up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything left. Like, the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there, knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her scent still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. Hmm. Makoto? Um... Hey, cheer up. Getting depressed isn't going to help anything, right? If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it! So everyone, just try and cheer up and get back on track. <laughs> Is that honestly supposed to make us feel any better? Huh? Huh? <laughs> We were already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. How anyone could betray us at this point? Now that it's happened once, it's just a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. <laughs> yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well... But if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Like you can get everyone to cooperate. Stop talking. Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy. Like it or not, it's not that simple. Oh, Sheely, does your cat like purr very loudly? I love it when cats have that loud purr. When we were trying to watch uh, Batman last night, I thought I heard purring. It was Georgie snoring instead. Uh, uh, when you mean? Are you okay with this? The mastermind seems to be much more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which was supposed to be well defended, then modified it to fit their desire. Wait, the school was supposed to be well defended? What kind of school is this? 
Oh, thank you so much for the lurk, Hasifa. Good luck in what you're up to. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Honestly. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. To find them may be too great of a risk. So then. Then, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> Anyone who truly w does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. <laughs> In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. No. What? No what? I, I can't take it. I don't want to live if it means killing someone else to do it. I don't want to kill anyone else. Maybe Chihiro's my favorite. <laughs> Good, she's talking some sense. And a school with the most valuable students in the country? I hope it'd be well defended since they'll be living there. <laughs> well, when I think of well defended, like, what do you got, some security? <laughs> some, some, some like rent -a cops Usually schools don't have defenses. You think of like a country or something like that. And Krim, your cat purrs so loudly, your dad asked me to take the cat to the old room during the night whenever you visit. <laughs> That's so cute, Krim. Although you're also like, no, let the cat purr. It's, it's happy. Although Georgie, if we're watching a movie and he starts like, you know, like sawing logs, so to speak, real loud when he's snoring, I might nudge him a little bit, give him a little belly rub, wake him up during a quiet spot of the movie so I can hear what's going on. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? It's because... Uh, Leon died because we all voted for him, right? It's no different from us killing him ourselves. Well, yes and no. <laughs> he also asked for it. But... So, um... If we hadn't voted for him, then we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? So it would seem... That shut her up. She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, and not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that's happening. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened if we'd refused. In the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. This kind of reminds me of, um... What is that? Squid Game, a little bit, you know, where it's like, oh man, do you betray your friends to like help yourself out kind of thing? So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Speaking of the mastermind. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. I thought we just woke up. As such. It is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. You know, in a fun, like, morbid kind of way, how cool would it be to, like, have this pop up on your kid's TV when they're playing a game or watching TV at night and it's their bedtime? All of a sudden this appears. They're like, oh, crap, time to go to bed. Oh, and what? Other thing. It's probably more traumatizing, but to me right now it sounds pretty funny. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourselves feel better and justify what you did. So? See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. I like his pun there. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Hey, Weepatome, what's going on? Welcome. And let's see, Sheila, you found sabotaging to be so stupid in Squid Games. Teamwork was very obviously the best option because the prize uh, was able to be split. You know, and Sheila, it worked really well until that one, not to spoil anything, but there was one game in there um i forget the name of the episode but like you, you didn't want to be teamed up with people you really loved in that game in particular i loved that twist that was really cool and frost it's now 10 p.m the kitchen will be locked don't fall asleep outside your room or you will be punished i love it <laughs> and how defended is your school out of a rating of one to ten well i will say when i went to high school it was pretty much an open campus. Like you could, the students could leave at lunchtime, go get lunch wherever they wanted. 
Now, when I drive by my old high school, it looks a little bit more like a prison. So it's probably more well defended than it used to be. Now they got bars. It's a closed high school. They can only go out at like certain times, essentially, unless, you know, there's an emergency or something, of course. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I just barely missed that. I got lucky. Although they do have a swimming yeah. pool. They didn't have a swimming pool when I went to high school. So that's kind of a bummer. What was that just now? Is he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Don't fuck with me. That piece of shit. Who does he think he is? <laughs> yeah, I tried to go to bed thinking that, huh? So, Frost, you couldn't leave campus without a permission slip, and you had co cops stationed at all of our schools. It probably is like that at our my old high school, to be honest. Um... Uh, I don't know anyone going there, so I'm not sure. Uh, I do have some friends that have kids that go to there, but I haven't asked them, like, how locked down is it? Probably pretty similar. And so the day drew to a close. A tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates, Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only begun. There's the theme of this game, despair. Now we're officially starting Chapter 2. And as someone who looked like a high school student walk into the office of your school with a book bag uh, in a small town, that's where they go. <laughs> Nobody would stop them, huh, Frost? Let's see. Oh, I mixed up those two messages. Um, they'd definitely be let in, Sheely, because of the small town. And Frost, you were saying that uh, you had cops even in the middle school. And you think they just have nothing to do in our small town, so that's where they go. I mean, with everything happening in the news, that doesn't seem like a bad place to hang out until there's something more important to do. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcements. Then he called us to the gym. What's he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen with fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in this little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Hey, Phantasma, how are you okay. doing? Okay, lift you. your arms up and down. Hey, we're doing exercising. One, two, three, four. <laughs> There's like one person actually really doing it. One, two, three, four. Ah, Taka. <laughs> now reach way up and bend way down. Tighten those muscles. Let's add a little strength, a little speed to those young bodies of yours. The way he says that stuff is kind of creepy. You do have one cop in your school, Sheely. Good. I mean, it's important to have some, yeah, uh, security like that for sure. Depending on the size of the school, of course. I need more. Uh, doesn't this feel great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure you st uh, gotta make sure to stay healthy. Actually, we got a um, elliptical during quarantine when we were kind of stuck in the house. <laughs> You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah Whoa! I sounded pretty cool just now. Don't you think? Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just to die in writhing agony for? So? So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't to make us exercise. Yeah. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? Hey! If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. <laughs> Passed down from generation to generation in the Empire of Darkness. The power can be yours. It's trying to, to train us, you know, attacks to kill each other. Hmm? That sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. It doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here to exercise? Hey, um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay, so then... Hmm... Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up for you. What the heck? A whole new world? A whole new world. <laughs> and he loves that movie. And Phantasma, are you doing okay? And you got some bad news from the doctor? No, Phantasma, you're not allowed to have any more bad news. You need to have good news. 
<laughs> what now? They think you might have pancreatic cancer. Oh my gosh. Um, you have to go see an oncologist and everything. You've been really struggling, so you haven't been around much. Oh, I totally understand, Phantasma. Holy cow. Have you, um, when is your appointment? I'm guessing you already booked something. You're going to be good. You're going to be good. You're going to be fine. Oh my gosh. That is really scary though. What? I guess I don't know much about it, but like, is there any particular symptoms that like keyed your doctor off of like, oh yeah, you got to get checked for this. Good that you're getting checked though, because like me, I don't go to the doctor nearly enough and you do want to because they can catch that stuff early and they take care of it before it becomes something much more serious down the line. And you wish you had an exercise bike. That's like the only tool you like to use. Maybe save up for us. I don't know if you have room for it. A lot of times those exercise machines are just so big. Even if you can afford it, there's not really no place to put it. You know, like the elliptical is in my wife's office. <laughs> so there's no room in the office I'm in right now. So that's the best place for it. And, and next Monday, and you hope to be okay, but, uh, and that's what got your dad. And some of those things can be hereditary. So yeah, good that getting checked up on that now, Phantasma. So you did have pancreatitis and they did some scans out of precaution. And so far it hasn't spread to any other organs that they know of. That's good news. That's good news. So yeah, man, we'll all be thinking about you, praying for you, hoping everything turns out to be okay, Phantasma. Oh, you just have to stay positive, right? And you've been kept calm by the uh, benz benzodiazepines. Diazepin I probably butchered that. Yes, meds are very important in that kind of situation for sure. <laughs> at least he seems like a pretty cool cop for being at the school, Sheely. You guys. Yeah, so what is this guy talking about? A whole new world. Um, it'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. Besides, I know that how you kids get these days with your ADD and ADHD. I gotta keep you motivated. Very nice. So go ahead, look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. I wonder if like the school has changed around somehow. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing how much power our mind has over our body. Like if you're just depressed and feeling like crap all the time mentally, it can hurt you physically. And the opposite can happen as well. With that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. But, whole new world. Could it be? Is he talking about a way to get outside? I wonder about that. That seems unlikely. Piece of shit! Well, we don't know until we look. Hey. Whatever he meant, it seems we'll have to search the school one more time. You hear me? Okay, then let's split up and investigate. When you're done, everyone meet back up at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. <laughs> you're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? Got it! More like a staple food source. Now let's get moving. <laughs> I like that, that's cute. And today was a good day, Phantasma. Uh, you went in and taught today and you saw your friends immediately and you felt better. Oh, that's awesome. And you did have to tell your new job uh, no, though. You couldn't start in good conscience, so you'll have the summer off to recover. That's actually a pretty good call, Phantasma. Yeah, because you don't know what's going to happen if they have to put you through some kind of surgery or whatever. Yeah, you might want to get that done before any of that. Good call. But working with your students and seeing your friends helped. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, to surround yourself with friends, honestly. And keeping yourself busy helps keep your mind off of that stuff for sure. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. So, I don't really see too much to look at in here. Let's get out of here. Oh man, Phantasma, that doesn't sound fun at all, but glad to hear today was a good day. Let's talk what to him real heck? quick. Hey Makoto, did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. This is super bad, man. What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything all that weird in there. We did take a sword from there earlier. Hmm. Sure. To the untrained eye, it's nothing. But this is awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. For serious. That stuff you see lined up in there? Any god could come by and see and use it to send a message. Huh? Uh, I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Let me out of here! <laughs> I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. 
Dude, you're losing your mind. Some nights, mornings, and weekends are the worst. And highly recommend uh, Clonopin to anyone who needs it. Is that like um, something to help the brain? That kind of stuff? Oh, did they open this up? I think this was locked up before. If I remember correctly. The gate that was blocking the stairs had been opened. Is this what Monokuma meant by a whole new world? If so, what's up there? Let's check it out. This is the second floor of the school. Oh, it's a sedative. Good, good. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's got to be something here. The closest thing I've ever taken to that is like NyQuil. <laughs> but it's because I was sick, not because I wanted to sleep. But it does make me sleepy. Not it doesn't happen for everybody. Okay, so that's where we came from. Let's check out the pool. It's pretty sweet. Oh, I bet that one classmate's here, right? Isn't there like a swimmer? There she is. Just a second. Hey, Makoto, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A pool. Pool, pool, pool. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. Okay. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Sakura's going to go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right about that. Ina seems way more excited than usual because she loves to swim. Chihiro, have you checked out the pool yet? Uh, um... No. I don't like wearing swimsuits. Yeah, you don't seem like the type who... Or you, you do seem like the type who might not be into that kind of thing. But... But still, it sounds like the locker rooms here have all the exercise equipment you could ask for. Maybe I'll give it a try. I'd like to get a little stronger. You want to get stronger? I have to say, that's kind of unexpected. Yeah. But... I'm not really brave enough to step foot in the locker room. Huh? You don't even want to go in the locker room? Um... It's not that I don't want to. It's just... I don't get it. Is she afraid of locker rooms or something? That's a pretty weird phobia, though. <laughs> I think she might just be, like, nervous about undressing the locker rooms. I remember those days when you first are starting, like, junior high for most kids, when you have to actually, like, you know use a locker room, shower, change, all that kind of stuff. That was nerve-wracking as a kid your first time. And it kept you sane, Phantasma. You took your pill before you taught and the day went great. So today was good. And you hope to live. I like to go on. You're going to go on way longer than anyone can imagine, Phantasma. You can't think that way. You are good. You're going to go longer than you'd ever want to. You're like, why am I still alive? <laughs> I've done everything. <laughs> Uh, the second floor has opened up. The living area has grown, and a number of facilities are now available. You know, the kind of ironic thing is we have more room and less people to use it. Whatever else is going on, I must admit things have been much more comfortable for us. Do you understand? If things continue like this, the occasional class trial may not be so bad. <laughs> See, she just wants to, like, live here. You know, she doesn't have any indication of, like leaving it seems she's like no I'm, we have to learn to live here it's normal behind this door is the locker room yeah oh and i guess you need your handbook to get in the locker rooms really of course really really oh. hmm. if you want to unlock the locker room you'll have to swipe your personal e-handbook across the card reader next to the door that's going to be something we're going to have to remember later. Like, somebody's going to get in there during a murder scene, and we'll have to remember, oh, who had whose handbook. Uh -huh. However, to ensure maximum security within each locker room, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room, and the same for the girls. And that's the bottom line. But... Hmm, but what if someone opens the door, and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. I mean, what if it's like a girl sneaking in the girls' locker room? See? There's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? And it'll be a ducka 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 ducka. <laughs> Just a second. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. She sounds very excited. Um. Um, no. I think it'd be a little worse than that. Hmm. But what happens if someone loans their handbook to someone else? 
A boy could borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, would it not? <laughs> that never occurred to me. I think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm? Hmm. Okay, how's this sound? I got it! Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Doesn't mean you can't steal it. <laughs> there. So now no one can give their handbook to anyone else, right? Nobody else heard this rule. You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 100% cotton. Honestly. I do not imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. Is that okay? After all, they would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do using the handbook. So, um... But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. Of course! It's because all you teenagers are sex-crazed maniacs. You're at that age you try humping a plastic bottle. So keep anything unseemly from happening. I'll have to maintain a rigorous watch. <laughs> then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same close eye on our dorms. Well, no, how are people going to get killed if everyone's got a close eye on them, right? If some man and some woman decided to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. <laughs> All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. This Yes. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. By force or by cunning, do whatever you want. Just the worst. I hate you so much. <laughs> See ya later! Okay, so the new regulation is now in place. See ya. Yeah, he's getting a bonk too, right? He's like, eh, do whatever you want behind closed uh. doors. <sighs> Besides the death Weebotome, the school probably does have some merits. <laughs> they have some good facilities, it seems like. And Frost, you had shower facilities, but you never used them for gym? We just changed clothes in the bathroom stalls. For me, it always depended on what we did during gym. If you had like a really chill gym day, you know, like you're, you know, uh, just playing a sport and it wasn't like too hardcore, it wasn't really hot outside, I might not shower. But if like we had like run the mile or I got really sweaty or something, I'd end up showering. It depended on when I had my gym class though. Like I preferred to have gym like right at the end of the day because then I wouldn't have to worry about being stinky in the class. Just, all right, I'm done. Time to go home, get cleaned up there. <laughs> I love that frost. Murder or not, you guys will clearly get along. Nothing else is gonna happen. You got it. Uh, Celeste, Chihiro, you wanna come with me? As for me. There is nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'll pass this time. Huh? huh? How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. I actually love swimming, which is bad because I'm very, very white. I'm very, very pale. I burn very easily. I gotta bathe in sunscreen. An indoor pool, though, that's something else. Or swimming at night, that's fun too. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. Okay, is there anything we need to look at here? There's like a button to like look at everything. There we go. Looks like flotation devices. There are a bunch of different pool-related items on the shelf. Hey, we got an item. Can't look at those. Oh, a life preserver. It looks like one of those life saver flotation donuts. It looks like it has like a peace sign in the middle. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Can't really look over to that side. What if we try to go in the girls' locker room? The door to the girls' locker room. I have no way of unlocking it, so I couldn't go in if I wanted to. Good, as it should be. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, we're gonna check out the side. What is this? This is a restroom, I think? Yeah, this is the girls' bathroom. If I ever took a step in there, I'd become a total creep in everyone's eyes, and that'd be it for me. <laughs> they wouldn't even accuse you of murder. They would just put you to death for being a creep. All right, here's the guy's bathroom. Anything? I like the reflection in that mirror. That's pretty cool. Didn't expect it in this kind of game. <laughs> Krim, who wants to switch handbooks? Come on, anybody? It looked like there was something there that highlighted. Maybe not. Oh yeah, B is like to run. Okay, so there's the way up to the third floor. It looks like we can't go that way. That'll probably unlock in the next day. What is this door? Another classroom? 
The baby is sleeping. Be quiet. I see. This must be what he meant by a new world. Huh. I should probably take a really close look around. I don't see much out of the ordinary here. There's these things in the windows, but those are pretty standard. I guess I shouldn't be surprised, but on the second floor, too, the windows here have those same metal plates covering them. At least we get some bonuses, though. I see so you walked out of your room for a couple minutes, and your cat typed, oops. <laughs> oh, that's cute. What are the chances that the cat actually typed, like, a word? Sure, there was, like, a zero in there, but, you know, still, it's close enough. It's pretty dang impressive. Okay, that looks like a dead end. What's over this way? Would have been even funnier if it actually sent the message, right, Crumb? And, uh, Cat the Legend. I think that's how I'm saying that. How's it going, Cat? Welcome to the stream. Let's check out the library. Anybody here? Oh, yeah, a lot of people. Looks like everybody ran upstairs. Makes sense. Whew. There's Kyoko. It's remarkably dusty in here, and the lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. How about you, Hifumi? <laughs> I'm absolutely shocked. How come? Damnation! They have all these books here, and not one copy of any of my works. Oh, he's actually written books? Huh. <sighs> well, yeah. Why would they have comics in a library? <laughs> Plus, most of the fanfic is just porn drawn by a bunch of amateurs. <laughs> you just don't get it. Not at all. <laughs> so it, it is porn. <laughs> oh, I do get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worthwhile. Dude, this chick is so mean. <laughs> Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's okay to judge a book by its author. Oh, have you beaten all the games? That's awesome, Cat. Which one is your favorite? This is my first time playing one. Now, hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than a... Uh, than the rind that contains the meaty pulp of my genius. <laughs> this guy. And she also opened window support and tried to mess with my display setting. <laughs> Sheila, your cat is diabolical. I love it. The second one's your favorite? Oh, that's awesome. Did you play them recently or like a long time ago? Here we go. You know, Krem, it seems like libraries are like freaking awesome now. Apparently you can like rent movies and games from some libraries. I have a coworker that he like um, never even goes and like, you know, rents movies from Amazon or goes to the theater. Actually just like puts holds on movies like brand new ones coming out and he gets to take the Blu-ray home. I'm like that's awesome. My creation are... Uh, what determined my meaning and value? <laughs> You're just so full of it. <laughs> hmm. I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours will drop my HP? Those two really worry me. Hmm. Oh, just last summer, Cat. Nice. You played them very recently. Oh, and Cat, thank you so much for the follow as well. That's awesome. And uh, Shili, to be fair, he did sell 10,000 copies. Oh, that's true. That's actually really good for a fanfic. Holy cow. Your school library has Naruto and the fairy tale manga series. Very progressive. I'd love to see that. That kind of, you know, breadth of things at the library. But still, this library is most interesting. Hmm, what's interesting about it? Stop talking. Oh, nothing. I was just thinking out loud. I don't like that guy at all. I mean, he's very, like, realistic and just blunt to the point, but he's definitely not friendly. Not really that helpful. The shelf is packed tight with books, but looking at it, the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. As nice as the school itself is, whoever's in charge of upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the desk. It looks like this library has been neglected for a pretty long time. It's the same thing. It might be the same thing on all of these. Oh, that's right. We got a ton of tokens for finishing that first case, huh? Yep. Same thing there. Might as well check them all, though. Even though it has the same text, you get, like, uh, um, an item. Oh, what's this? There's, like, a letter right there. The shelf is covered in dust, but on the shelf is a letter. 
What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. Indeed. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting there for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. Is that right? What we shouldn't do is leave this here without finding out what's inside. We shouldn't kill each other either. We shouldn't be in the situation. Extreme measures, right? And uh, Kat, you went to the library recently and saw a bunch of movies and some video games. It's amazing, man. Libraries never had that when I was a kid. Man, kids have just got it all now, don't they? I would have gone to the library much more often. <laughs> I broke the seal on the dusty envelope and pulled out the single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the paper and read what was written there. From Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on an active leadership role in every major job field. However, Hope's Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not an easy one to make, but the serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. Sounds like the school got canceled for something or shut down. But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now, and I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we are awaiting official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hmm. Hmm. The contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem... It would seem Hope's Peak had stopped functioning as a school. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's because of all the murder. <laughs> um... And judging by the amount of dust the letter had collected, it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. Yeah, we don't know how long it's been operating like this. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Hm. Most likely. The mastermind took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here just a few days ago. Oh, that's a movie, right, Sheely? With, um... Oh, what's his name? The guy that played Frodo in Lord of the Rings. I can't think of his name, but... I, I think I know what you're talking about. Um, I, I've seen that movie. They, like... He goes and, like, travels abroad, if I remember right. He might go to Russia or something, I forget. Uh, but I didn't get that sense at all. That it was closed. Oh, and you read Elijah Wood. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I read. I seen. I've seen the movie. Everything is illuminated. I haven't read the book. You know, I just remember in the movie the character Elijah Wood. His name is Jonathan, but when he goes to like Russia or wherever it is, they hearing his name, they don't know how to spell it or understand re really what it should look like. So they wrote it as John Fen, J O N F E N, and I, I use that as a nickname for a while. I like John Fen. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked stuff up online about the school and never saw anything about this. Oh, is it the Ukraine they go to, Sheely? Oh, cool. So in Yeah, it's other been words... so long since I've seen it. It was really good, though. I liked it. It had a great soundtrack. It actually introduced me to this band named Devochka. Good stuff. That must have been part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone who could create a place to judge and execute people could potentially be capable of anything. Hmm. Of course, that's all assuming that this letter is real. I mean, However, it sounded realistic. If it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. Hmm. That would be nice, simple solution. It's true. But then, what about this other part? The decision was not an easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control had made it necessary. I know, Kat, I love finding new games, especially ones that are kind of niche, maybe not as popular. Um, and this game in particular was actually a, a viewer request from Sheely. And the novel is one of your favorite books. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, I haven't read a book in a while, but I did like that movie. I'd be interested to see like the differences. 
But make no mistake, this is not the end for Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. What do they mean by serious issues? That's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening to us now? No. If, if the two events are in fact connected, uncovering that connection would be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. Hmm. So in other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive. If we can figure out why they would want to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here? I mean, it might help, but that's not going to be all you need. <laughs> it might help us understand maybe more about the school, how we can escape. Or, we haven't talked to her yet. I almost don't even want to. You must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? She's, she's the novelist, right? <laughs> not particularly. Nothing's really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there's a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. You know nothing! <laughs> Pineapple. Um, where's the comic books? Where's the young adult section? <laughs> comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. I've seen what you write, Miss mm -hmm. Fukuma. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more worthwhile. My stories are filled with true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone should just burn it all. Man, one of these people are going to kill the other one. Oh, the lady doth protest too much, methinks. I bet you're secretly into boy-on-boy -boy action. Boy-on-boy? -boy? I don't care if it's an anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. I'm telling you! It's all filth. Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Yeah. Uh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> yeah, you've insulted me. And you've insulted my honor. These two are really starting to freak me out. I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> what, two nerds bickering? I would love to browse this young adult section. It's it's more like Twilight, uh, Hunger Games. I think that's kind of like it's considered young adult books for the most part. Did I talk to Kyoko? Yeah, we talked to her first. There is like a laptop or something here we can check out. What is this? It looks like a laptop. The laptop looks pretty old and it's all covered in dust. So... And the battery's probably dead as well. Ooh, favorite game, Cat. I, I just, I love such a wide variety of games. And for me, games depend on your mood. But um, if I was to give you like genres that I like, I'd say my favorite genres or games are horror and like adventure games, kind of similar to this. Maybe not so much visual novels, but like more point and click adventure games, that kind of thing. But I play a little bit of everything. Like off stream right now, I'm spending way too much time in Elden Ring. I'm finding that game is fantastic, but I love all kinds of games. I don't play a lot of sports games or competitive multiplayer games like Fortnite, things like that. Just I don't know, they're fine. I used to play those games like Unreal Tournament and Quake, but not so much anymore. It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I was hoping I could use it to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. That's assuming you got internet access here. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Anyway, now I have a pretty good idea what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might, might lead into any kind of exit or anything. All I can do now is hope someone found something else worthwhile. Okay, I better head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. See, now I love that this game does this. They just teleported me here. But oftentimes when you're done, they tell you you're done. And you can go to the exit. You can explore more and, you know, you might find uh, another item or two to check out. But they kind of push you on the right path. And Weebatome. Jump scares in games. If the game is just jump scares, that gets obnoxious. Because it's not very effective over time. But I've seen games that were much more psychological. That had like a good slow build. And those jump scares can be fantastic. They have to earn it though. They can't just do it over and over and over. 
<laughs> it's a laptop's broken. Oh, and platformers. Platformers are so good too, Cat. I haven't streamed one in a long time, but I've streamed like Sonic Mania. We streamed uh, Celeste. We've done a few platformers out here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how did it go? Did anyone discover any interesting or any any interesting new anything? Wait, let me read that again. Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? Okay, I guess that kind of makes sense. Yes, indeed. There's a library. Okay. And a pool. A freaking pool. And locker rooms filled with exercise equipment. Well. There was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. She's right. I see. Well, hey, there's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery. Quiet down and listen. The warehouse and bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open. You hear me? And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, whatever you want. There's so much it's insane. <laughs> so go ahead and stuff to the gills whenever you feel like. Are you okay with this? Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. That just means you grab the snacks and take it to your room. Yo. Okay. And what a uh, and what about a fucking way out of here? You find anything like that? <laughs> oh well, um. What? There wasn't anything what? in the warehouse that we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing. Uh, unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. Hey, come on. You fucking people. What? What were you doing, dude? Why didn't you find any way out? Who gives a shit if we have a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or whatever the. Stop fucking around! We're still trapped in this piece of shit school. We need to find a goddamn way out. <laughs> now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must find a way to enjoy our current situation. She's totally happy just to stay here, right? Cat, I've heard that new Kirby game is fantastic. And Phantasma, I don't know too much about Cory, except it's not a Dark Pictures series game, but it is from the same developer, right? It's gonna be maybe a bigger project, kind of like Until Dawn. Very interested to see more. And Sheila, you like RPGs, JRPGs, sandbox games a lot, and some visual novels, platformers, and single player shooters. A little bit of everything, Sheila, very well diverse there. I also don't really play sports games. I used to play a few, and I'm also um, uh, a big fan still of like, Arcadey sports games like NBA Jam or something, those are fun. <laughs> okay, yeah, definitely no like story spoilers because we don't want to spoil anything like that. Yes, I loved Until Dawn. I mean, and the Dark Pictures games, they're all very similar, but I'd love to see a bigger budget project, maybe a bit longer of a game like that. That would be great. You piece of. Whatever you say, you fing loon. <laughs> For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you discover something. So then. So, are we done for today? Y yeah. Well, yeah, I guess so. The air seemed to suddenly grow heavy again. Was this the mastermind's plan? To give us hope? Just to turn around and betray that hope? That was weird. Looked like we were going to talk to him, but he didn't say anything. Oh, must be 10 p.m. <laughs> True, with no context, it doesn't really spoil anything for me. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. And cats. So hobbies or other interests? Of course, gaming in general. I've been a big gamer ever since I was a kid, but I'm also a big movie buff. I used to work at a video rental store and I just love movies. I love discovering new stuff. Uh, also a big fan of music. I love going to concerts and things like that and discovering new music. And uh, I got three dogs, so we're always playing and hanging out with our pups. That's always fun. And I love to have friends over to gather to play board games and all kinds of stuff like that. And I also say escape rooms. Escape rooms are kind of one of our new things. My wife and I love escape rooms. Well, not new. We've been doing it for probably three or four years now. But ever since we discovered them, we do them every time we get a chance. Oh, I love horror movies, Sweet Batome. Love horror movies. Oh, guitar. I've picked up guitar a few times. I've never taken actual lessons, but I have three guitars and I, I, I do. I haven't touched them in a long time, but time to time I used to 
pick some songs and try to learn them. It's super cool. But I definitely don't try it enough now where I can really claim, oh yeah, guitar is one of my hobbies. It hasn't been for a while. There's no time. So many other things going on. Uh, we all promise not to leave our rooms during the nighttime. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll go to bed. It's so interesting. This game has like very mundane days. Very realistic. Like nothing crazy happened, you know? Mr. Monokuma. Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I don't really like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay, not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand that now. My life is just one co giant copy paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm a perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean, right, Mr. Monokuma? <laughs> I love that. Just murder, cat. That's a fun hobby. Although in this stream, people die all the time. I always try to go for a good ending, but I have a very bad habit of getting characters killed in these kind of games. How about you, Weebatome? Are you a fan of horror movies? What are some of your favorites? <laughs> That's true, Frost. I do not have Apple TV+. Plus. I have quite a few streaming services, although I turned a few off for right now because there's just nothing I'm watching on them, but I've never tried Apple TV. Is it worth it? You watch a pretty good murder mystery show called After Party on there. I'll have to look into that. I've never even heard of that one. Oh, nice, Shilly. I'll check that one out. Morning already. That was. I think that's like our dreams, isn't it? Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. I'm always halfway thinking I can skip these portions because they seem to be very repetitive, and I'm scared I'm going to skip something new. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Oh, that's right. I wanted to let you know that your e-handbooks have been updated. Just like that, something new. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. Yes, Weepatome. I loved Last Night in Soho and Crimson Peak. You know, they're not scary movies, but I just love the atmosphere and the acting and the story were really good in there. Um, my favorites are really diverse. Like, I like some really old horror movies. Like, probably one of my favorites of all time is John Carpenter's The Thing. The movie's as old as I am, but it holds up so well. The special effects are all very practical. It's kind of a monster sort of movie, but it looks so good still. It's just a great horror flick. Uh, 28 Days Later for like something really creepy. One of my favorite new horror movies is a Hereditary. That movie haunts you. It's pretty creepy. Um, it Follows was really good as a more recent horror movie. I like that one. But I just, I don't know. I love them all. Such good stuff. <laughs> the thing is intense, isn't it, Weepatome? And uh, Hagakure was standing behind Hifumi and it looked like Hifumi got a fresh new haircut. Interesting, Shili. Do we have a uh, uh, a barber in our midst? Oh, do you like that one, Cat? Nice. And they've got some good original shows, Phantasma. You should get at least a six-month free trial with the PS5. Really? You know, Andy's always looking for new stuff to watch, too. She watches way more TV than I do. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, maybe try setting up that free trial for her. She could probably check that out. And if she finds one really good, she usually drags me in to watch as well. The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. This is the one about the uh, locker rooms, I'm sure. He must be referring to yesterday. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Oh, and that too. But right now, I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Let's get out of here. Okay, here's the food hall. Yes, yeah, Among Us takes a lot from the thing for sure i'm actually kind of surprised hey, Makoto. that the company that makes like the friday the 13th game the new texas chainsaw massacre game has not tried to make a thing game based on the movie license with gameplay like among us because it could be absolutely terrifying the whole idea of the thing is this alien will find a, a, a host essentially murder them hide the body 
and then pretend to be them. So nobody else knows who actually is the thing. Everybody is sus about everybody else until the thing gets you all by yourself and then it kills you and continues that process. Let's see, you just downloaded the app. You loved After Party, C, and Foundation. It's, that's really cool, man. There's so many options now, right, Phantasma? <laughs> and now you gave the ultimate barber. Morning, Mikado. Good morning. Is everybody here already? Yo, yo, yo. Nope. Still waiting on Byak or Byakuya and Taka. By Byakuya is no surprise, but it's strange that Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the King of Tardiness up and out of bed. <clears throat> I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. Let's see. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem. Which is... <sighs> I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make me some tea? Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> milk tea, if you please. Well... Boba. Boba milk tea? One of my favorite things. So good. Why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of the coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? Because you have a fine. similar body shape? <laughs> I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Oh, I don't like how she's oh. talking to him. Okay. Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Ifumi skulked his way into the kitchen. <laughs> hey, Merc. How you doing, dude? What's up? No, and I would not trust Hifumi with my tea. Good call. Isn't Boba so good, Cat? And Weebatome, it was a cool concept. You haven't seen many games inspired on the thing, aside from some RPG Maker games. Actually, Weeb, there was a Thing video game on the PS2, maybe on the Xbox as well. I heard it was actually pretty decent. I never played it myself. And a few minutes later, he's back with the tea. Thank you for waiting. Ifumi reappeared with the tray in hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, <laughs> you could have made some for the rest of us, you know. There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. <laughs> I empathetically decline. You're not my type at all. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about the law of casuality. Basic instinct, act and react. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, if you don't mind. A small, small smile played across her lips as she held the teacup delicately in her hand. You know, it would be pretty obvious, but this is a good time to like poison somebody, right? Oh. Wait. She cocked her head to the side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Oh, maybe she thought she was getting poisoned too. What? Hey, that's great news, Merc. You're finally starting to feel a little bit better. Um, I'm doing great. Not sick here. Haven't, haven't gotten it yet that I know of, but otherwise things are really good. This is my short week, so uh, no work on Friday. I'm psyched about that. What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? Mm, I hate this kind of tea. Um, um, I don't understand. Yes, indeed. Imagine we are at a coffee shop, just like any normal everyday cafe. I sit down and I order some tea. Then they ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, further imagine that I replied, ah yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they may bring me a small container of milk, yes? <gasps> but this is not for me. I'm among those who prefer the milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sleep that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink is like dousing your fries in ketchup, near condiments. Whenever looking for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. I had no idea this was a thing. And I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that does not add milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with wide-eyed bewilderment. Good. My quote for this is beggars can't be choosers. Um, I went to all that trouble to make you that tea. And you wanted me to go even further? <sighs> yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that offer proper milk tea, it is always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely. <laughs> Why even bother creating a menu if you are not going to offer the highest level of quality? 
Time. Money. How expensive is it? Wow. Well, um, we don't actually have a menu. You little bitch! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> the hell is going on in this game? That does not matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for, swine. Okay, she can go next. Poison her ass. Say what? Okay, your little prick piggy will bring it right out. My goodness. I feel bad for Hifumi now. I didn't like it before, now I kind of feel for him. And, uh, Sheila, you just had boba milk tea out of a can? I never had it out of the can. Your sisters brought it from Hawaii and tasted and smelled like cleaning products. It made me want actual bubble. Ew, oh, that's gross, Sheila. When I was in Japan, they have, like, vending machines everywhere. And there was this one particular, they do, like, tea, coffee, all kinds of stuff. And it was called Boss Coffee. It was B-O-S-S, -S, all capital letters. It was like more common like Coca-Cola or something. And they did have Coke there as well. But uh, they're all really good. Every drink that I tried of theirs, I liked it. Let's see. Oh, you're just passing t through tonight. Have a good one, Merc. It's good to see you, dude. And you had COVID in the past. How bad was it, Cat? Did you get it real bad or was it pretty minor for you? <laughs> Celeste is great. John Cardioid Microphone. Buy now for 200 tokens. <laughs> Love it, Max. How's it going, Max? Great to see you, dude. How was your weekend? And watch out. Hifumi Celeste will murder you with her drill hair. That is true. Her hair looks like it could absolutely murder somebody. And uh, you curry. Let me know if I'm butchering that. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. Hmm. I do love coercion. Huh? You were like a totally different person just now. Oh, shit. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. <laughs> <laughs> it's that hotness and crazy scale, right? Oh, you lost smell and taste, but it came back, right? I've heard some people lose it and it never comes fully back. That's absolutely terrifying. I knew there was more to her when I first met her. I hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man. She's one scary chick. The dining hall doors flew open, and one of the late arrivals came storming in, finally. But. <laughs> bad news, everyone. There is a mystery afoot. Oh, is somebody already dead? Huh? Huh? What happened? <clears throat> it would seem Biaf oh, wait, Biakuya refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing his doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe... I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. What he meant by that, he didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we all split up and go look for him. Listen to me! Ah, I was just too about to suggest the same thing. What's your problem? Stop trying to one-up everyone. Um... Okay, I'll go check his room one more time. I'm just going to keep hammering that button till I get a response. Well then... Well then, the rest of us can go check the rest of the building. Uh, um... Yeah, before it's, you know, too late. Anyway, we just have to do our best to find Biakuya. Where he might, or where might have Biakuya gone? Maybe he went to go check out the second floor of the school again. So there's my hint, let's go check there. It did mostly come back, but not 100% cat. And how long ago was that? That's true, Frost. With that kind of ability to switch her, you know, how she is, I guess. Uh, you'd be great at poker, 100%. And Max, you were here for a few minutes earlier, but you were making nuggets, so you heard the discussions. Also, uh, you should also watch Last Night in Soho, since it's Edgar Wright. Same, Edgar Wright's one of my favorite directors. Such good stuff. I highly recommend that movie, Max. I dug it. It's good stuff. Actually, before we leave, let's talk to her. Dang, so a couple months and there's still a little bit of lingering loss of taste, huh? Celeste, aren't you going to help look for Biakuya? I have not had my tea yet. Huh? As for me... Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. <laughs> if you are in a hurry, feel free to mo motivate Hifumi to move faster. Okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? I mean, what she did to Hifumi, I don't think that's a problem. Uh, selfishness is her middle name. How's he doing at this? Mm-hmm. Ah, Mr. Nagy, what's going on? Well, nobody 
Nobody's seen Biakuya this morning, so we've all decided to go look for him. What? What? That's not good at all. However... However, this little piggy needs to... I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. <laughs> to bless this underserving swine with such an honor. I will serve you with all my heart and soul. Dude, she's not gonna sleep with you. <laughs> okay, good luck with that. Ifumi's created some creepy alternate reality for himself. All right, so we need to go to the second floor and start to look for him there. Oh, Baby Driver. That was really good as well, Max. I've only seen it the once. I want to watch that again. And Sheely, your lungs still aren't the same after COVID? Uh, nothing too bad, but definitely got you get out of breath quicker. That's so scary that, um, you know, it could be like months later and you still have the lingering problems, you know? Um, I think it's this way. I'm trying to remember where the stairs were. I think it was kind of like on the opposite side over here. There was like stairs to go upstairs. <laughs> yeah, Ufumi likes it rough, huh? Bonk. <gasps> you haven't seen Shaun of the Dead Max? That's my favorite out of all of them. Hot Fuzz is very close. I can actually kind of bounce and forth between those two, but I think Shaun of the Dead might be my favorite. But also because it was the first one that I saw though, maybe. But yeah, so good, so good. You know, one that I haven't seen in a long time was the uh, uh, the World's End, whatever the third one was. Um, I, I liked it when I saw it. It wasn't my favorite of the three, but I liked it. And I haven't watched it again since. Okay, let's see if he's in the boys' room. We haven't been in the locker room yet. <laughs> Why am I not surprised they have a poster like this here? Now, this is an interesting poster. Obviously, someone put this in the school, but is it really okay to have something like this here? It looks like that might go backwards. And Scott Pilgrim is your uh, great, is my great, great movie, which is not part of the CT, true. But Scott Pilgrim is so good. I had no idea of the comic before Scott Pilgrim, but I love that movie to death. Oh, well, here's the pool. Let's see, I don't see anything. It's good to... Um, Check that from time to time, though. Oh, you can actually move around the pool. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Krem, it kind of reminds me of Metal Gear Solid. They always had, like, a lot of weird, subtly sexual posters and magazines in those games. Lockers. Well, I would not expect to see that in a normal pool. It is kind of strange to have a locker right there. I guess we can't try to open it, though. It is currently 8.30 p.m. where I'm at, Kat. I'm in uh, California, so Pacific time. <laughs> yeah, it gives you some motivation while you do push-ups, right? Or pull-ups. Um, and you used to have paid TV channels back in 2012. You woke up mid-movie for Scott Pilgrim. Oh, Max, that would have been amazing. I mean, it's bum bummer that you missed the beginning, I guess. But like, still, yeah, that would have been wild. Oh, you're in the same time zone, Cat. That's awesome. Where are you at? Now let's ask her if she's seen anything. It would appear uh, Biakuya is not here. Hmm. Since it's morning, I thought he might have gone to the locker room to get exercise. But I forgot that girls can't open the boys' locker room door. Oh yeah, true. Hmm. I knocked, but no one answered. I listened for the sound of equipment being used, but there was nothing. So he must not be in there. Besides, Biakuya doesn't seem like the type to go sweat it all out this early in the morning. Do you exercise every single morning, Sakura? Of course. If I didn't get my blood pumping early in the morning, it would throw off my rhythm for the entire day. Actually, I like to, I guess that's kind of a hobby too. I do like to work out. And if I skip a workout for like a week or something, I start to feel weird. I actually feel better when I work out regularly. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, true. Now, Max, you've seen it a ton of times. But that was your first time ever seeing it? Was like catching it in the middle? Let's uh, check the men's room. Or had you already seen it before then and you just woke up to it once? Okay, there's one we can check now. This is new. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful in here. 
Never mind. Not in there. Oh, no worries at all, cat. Yeah, I totally understand. I usually stream until about 10 or so. 10, 10.30, my, my time zone. But then I have to work super early, so I have to get going as well. But Thursday, I don't have work on Friday, so when I stream Thursday night, I get to stream extra late. Usually we get a good five hour stream or so. Nothing in here. <laughs> yeah, that would have absolutely felt like a fever dream, Max. And Krem, you're the type of person who only watched movies once. You know, if it's a movie I just thought was okay, I'll never watch it again. But my favorite movies, I do like to watch multiple times. And some movies, I truly believe, get better with multiple viewings. When I opened the door to the library and looked inside, I cried out in sudden surprise. Byokuya? Oh, he's just chilling. I was expecting a corpse. Of all the things I'd imagined, this most definitely wasn't hey, one of them. Hey, uh... What are you doing? I'm fishing. What does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> Touche. What's in the box? How's it going, Christian? There's a movie I have watched multiple times. Seven. I haven't watched it as many times as Christian has, but I have watched it many times. I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, thank you, Kat. Actually, if you our schedule is pretty on point. We always start the stream at the same time zones. Uh, Tuesday at 7, Thursday at 7, and then Saturday at noon. And um, if you join our Discord, I always post in there as well. Usually like an hour or two before I stream, just to give everybody a heads up. Oh, sorry. Wait, no! What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've all been looking for you. This guy's a rebel. He doesn't go by the rules. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. What a promise. <sighs> Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? I mean, you had all night by yourself to read. Come on, it's just one morning. Byakuya snapped his book shut and slowly stood up, smooth and silent as a shadow. Oh, thank you, Christian. There it is. Yeah, there should be the link. Meanwhile, uh, the others must have heard me yell and started showing up one after another. Yo! <laughs> Byakuya, so this is where you've been hiding. Uh, what the heck are you doing here, man? Mm -hmm. We were very concerned. Hm. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might just prove useful at some point. Well... What were you reading? A mystery novel. Well... Wait, so are you going to use that... Uh, what you're learning in there to betray us? Hmm. Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? Naturally. If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, this game of ours will be totally boring, right? <laughs> it's not often you get taken to... Uh, you get to take part in such a high-stakes, high-tension activity. He seems to like this game. So, if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. Hmm? His words sent a chill down my spine. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying this deranged killing game. Damn you! What the f*** do you mean, game? That's f***ed up! Hm. But it is a game. It's a game of life or death, which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. <sighs> he is right. It's a zero-sum game. Huh? Are you okay with this? It is part of game theory, a mathematical novel, or model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for position or resources. I see. You mean like a kind of elimination match? Actually, entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Everyone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to the school life where we have been subjected to here. In this case, is that okay? our limited resource 
is the only one that can successfully become the black imp. So in other words, so in this game, or this game was designed from the beginning to force us, uh, one of us, to try and defeat all the others. That can't be what they had in mind. <laughs> this is why adaptation is so crucial. If those who want to escape were to disappear, there would be no reason to continue playing the game. What? But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. <sighs> it sounds as if you do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? Naturally. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like the others. Exactly what I would expect from the Tagami heir apparent. <sighs> it's just normal arrogance, isn't it? Just a second! You talk like that, but what if you end up dead? Not possible. I won't. It simply isn't possible. You son of a bitch! Who the f do you think you are? Hm. You know, I still can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna f kill you, <laughs> this guy. Oh my goodness. Actually, Krem, you're right. That is a really good mo move every morning to meet up in the gym or the cafeteria. You just get a head count. Make sure nobody got killed, right? Don't make me repeat myself. Uh, like I said, I won't die. <sighs> you keep saying that, but... <sighs> Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent progeny. After all, a boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is a life and death situation. Let's see, Mac, you've only watched a few movies multiple times. One of the good ones is a Jobs movie where Ashton Kutcher is. Oh, I haven't seen that one yet. That's just called Jobs, right? Um, you know, the first movie I ever saw multiple times in theaters was Saving Private Ryan. That movie just blew my socks off in theaters. It was so intense, so well done. It really made you feel like you were there. And seeing that multiple times just was awesome. Hey, nice cat, you unlocked it, sweet. I do remember something about two Jobs movies, that's right. What about Star Wars? I've never seen one in theaters twice. Actually, the only ones I've seen in theaters was episode one maybe i saw two in theaters i don't i think i saw three later on i might have seen one and two in theaters i never seen any of the other ones in theaters and uh the other one is pretty good too but you like the ashton one better oh that's good to know yeah i don't i haven't seen either one <laughs> is that not so biak or biakuya <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? Is it because I am the same as you? Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest that we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. Hmm. Anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give their best, where's the fun for me? N no. That's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friends is... It's horrific. It's horrific. <laughs> friends, who decided that? Huh? <laughs> We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. I know you, you'd be disappointed in me, Phantasma. I mean, just not being a huge Star Wars fan. I didn't see the originals when I was a kid, so... I think some friends really want to go see episodes one, two, and three when they came out in theaters. So I went to a couple of those, but I don't think I saw them all in theaters. But the new ones, I didn't see any of them in theaters. No, I don't think I've seen any of them. Well, no. I've seen bits and pieces of the original trilogy more than once because they would be on TV all the time and I just kind of have it going on. But uh, I don't know if I've ever sat through a Star Wars movie from beginning to end all the way through more than once. But I've definitely seen parts of the original trilogy many times. <laughs> That's true. 
Oh, and that's a good call, Max. And yes, like some of those really complicated movies that you watch more than once, you pick up new details you missed the first time through. Whether it's just, you know, there's so much going on, it's hard to catch everything, or it just makes you think so you see things differently the second time through. Max needs to go on timeout until he processes what he has done for Max. You should watch them, though, even just for the cultural re relevance and everything, Max. But, but... But, you know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um... Come on. Yes, if you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. I'm sorry. Man, that guy's a jerk. Stop fucking around. Hey, shithead. You get off on bullying people that can't fight back. You want to try that on me? Hm. So, you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! <laughs> F*** you. This guy's all bark. No bite. He hasn't done anything to anybody. What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you would waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch. That's it. You're f***ing dead just a second hold on just calm down don't let him kick his ass that'd be great piece of shit i am calm oh. how is this calm hmm. anyway i don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer to cooperate during the elimination game is well frankly it's a waste of time and i hate wasting my time Let's see. Yeah, definitely watch the originals. I mean, they're all worth watching, but the originals you should watch just for how, you know, important movies they are. <laughs> Poor Phantasm, I can't take any more. Come on, Max, watch the movies. Let's see. When you were a kid, your mom asked you to record a Star Wars movies, a Star Wars on VHS tape so she could watch it later. So you did that, but you wanted to record your own stuff and accidentally pick the wrong tape. Oh no, Max, you might have some weird memories about Star Wars. Not from watching it, but from, you know, upsetting your mom. <laughs> and you think you've seen every Star Wars movies, at least in part over the years. You know, the one that I really need to watch still is Rogue One. I've heard really good things about that one, and it's... I haven't seen that one yet. I haven't watched any of the spin-offs recently, but that's definitely the one I want to watch the most. Waste of time. Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison our food. And I'd rather not become part of the Last Supper just yet. Ugh, shit. Quit talking like you're in a f***ing movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that, ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance back, Bayakuya left. Well, that explains why he didn't meet us in the cafeteria. There wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But... Was he serious about all that? <laughs> he was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me! Well, f*** him then. Maybe. But what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? <laughs> hey, come on, you too, Toko? Anyway. Well, it's not like anyone would even care if I was gone, right? She's looking for validation, but she's such a jerk about it. <laughs> Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. None of us think that. Come on. <laughs> Grow up. I'm telling you. You just think you don't think, or you just think you don't think that. <sighs> I know some people like to play the victim. But this is just totally out there. You think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone. And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Hey, Toko, wait. Please, cry some more. It's great. Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Yes, Phantasm, I know you're one of the ones that definitely hyped up uh, Rogue One as well. It's supposed to be so good. And you should probably watch them. You're just really terrible with movies nowadays. You always have something else to do, even if it's just literally browsing TikTok. You know, it's really funny, Max. I know some people will say, oh, I don't have time to play this game. I don't have time to watch that. They say it's something they really want to do, but then they'll do something like, 
you know, that's just kind of like a time waster for so long that they could have done that thing. And I'm totally guilty of that too. I totally get it. <laughs> Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. You know, one of my coworkers, though, who's also extremely busy, he's got a family and everything, he will watch movies in chunks. And I don't know how he does it. Like, if it's a two-hour movie, it'll take him two, maybe three sittings to watch the whole thing. Because he just watches, like, a little bit before he goes to bed. I couldn't get into a movie that way. Um... When I watch a movie, like even Batman, that was like three hours. We watched the whole thing in one sitting last night. Because if you take breaks and do things like that, it can kind of like screw up the vibe of the movie, the moment. You want to be in there the whole time, in my opinion. <laughs> Sorry, Krim. Why you got to call me out like that? There we go, Phantasma. Yeah, technically not legal, but nobody's going to catch you on Discord. Nobody cares. But I don't have time to take even one day off. I need to get myself going. Hey, we got free time. We haven't had that in a while. So with free time, you basically want to uh, go buy some presents at that shop and then give them to people, right? I think. Where was the shop? That's the bath. Is this the shop? I think this is the shop. I actually never watched a movie on Discord, but, you know, Postmate wouldn't be too hard. Is this it? This vending machine doesn't seem to take any money, so I guess we can drink as much as we want. But even if it's totally all you can drink... <laughs> okay, so that wasn't what I was looking for. I think we've heard this, seen this before. It's a bunch of magazines. One's called The Lovely Ladies of Earth. It's filled with what they refer to as world-class beauties. So it's not quite porn, <laughs> but it is... Uh, just to enjoy the pictures, right? And so you can put a timer on screen and people just watch on their own. Oh, that's true, Phantasma. You could just get everyone in chat, which, like, that's something I would have no problem letting people host or something. I would never really join in one of those unless I'm watching, like, a really bad movie. Because I'm the type of movie viewer that, like, I just like to watch it, shut the hell up, and enjoy the movie. I'm not one to, like, talk during movies. But if you're watching, like... One of those really bad movies that's meant to be bad. It's, it's fun to laugh and joke with your friends. Otherwise, I'm just like, get rid of all distractions, turn off all the lights, and watch the movie. But some people do like to just kind of chat in the background during a movie. Uh, there's the food place. Where do we buy stuff? Let me check the map. Oh, is it on the side here? I think it might be right over here. Is this it? It's been a while since I had free time. Oh, this is all the storage, huh? Look at all these things. Everything's totally disorganized. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. Is there anything we can actually grab? I don't think so. <laughs> That's true. Like, why even watch it together? I guess the only thing I would like to do that for would be to, like, chat afterwards. Like, I do love to, um, like, discuss a movie after I've watched it to get their opinions, their um, ideas on what happens. Sometimes you watch a movie that stuff's up to interpretation, in which case it's fun to get their interpretation of what happened. I could have sworn there's like some room that says like shop. There's the aviary store. Here we go. Okay, maybe we want to buy some stuff here. And cat, you had to switch to computer. Hey, cat, welcome back. This is account number two. <laughs> it says first time chatter, but I'm very confused. You were just here. Yeah, we have all kinds of tokens, so we can definitely put some things in here now. I don't know what else I can use tokens for though. And you could do it on a stream with a timer too. See, now that you could do legally. That's very true. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put a bunch in there. Let's go like 10 coins. Oh, eight. Oh, here we go. 11. 10. Here we go. Wait. That costed me 10 for just one? Lucky. Hey, I got something. Oh, I guess it does give me more than one. 
Oh, Krem, have a great night, dude. Thank you for stopping in. So I got two. That's confusing, though. I can, I can just spend one and get one. What's the point of putting ten in there? I don't know if you get better items or what. I have no idea like how much these things are worth or who they're good presents for. Oops, wrong button. That's very true. It's kind of like doing Among Us with the voices. It was neat, but when you get like eight people talking over each other, it's just a mess. Okay, get more rare items. Let's try like five. That's pretty expensive. There we go. The D-pad works better. Oh, down is to add. I was so confused. It seemed like when I was pressing right, it works sometimes. It was actually pressing down is what allows you to do. Looks like a Game Boy or something. Oh, that's right. There's like certain abilities you can get, right, Cat? For, um... The truth bullets, I remember that. You, when you make friends with people, they give you abilities. Oh, the baseball. That would have been good for Leon. <laughs> He's gone now. Oh, whenever it says lucky, you actually get a uh, second shot, huh? Is there any reason not to spend all my money here? I think I already have that. Oh yeah, there's a percentage. You guys can't see it right behind me. Right now it's like 12% chance of getting a repeat. And the more coins you put in, the less chance you actually have of a repeat. So if you only put one coin in, you might get a repeat. Okay, let's go talk to some people. Let's go upstairs again while we're here. Ah, well, hello. Ah, Mr. Nagy. Funny meeting you here. Mm-hmm. I salute you. You got salute. It. I just saluted, did you see? That was why that was the Hifumi Ultimate Salute. Damn. Now, should I be worried about who I chat with? Because I feel like I can only like hang out with one or two people during the free time and then it automatically goes to nighttime. Do I want to hang out with Hifumi? I don't really want to hang out with Hifumi. I feel like I should spend time with somebody else. <laughs> hey, Arbo, what's up, dude? How's it going? How was your weekend? There's definitely other characters I like a lot more than Hifumi. Like, is Sakura here? No, she's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, when it's limited, you gotta worry about it. This guy seems on the up and up too. I don't mind Taka. You hear me? And uh, Zakobo, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. So you say hang out with whoever you like more, or someone you think um, might bite it soon. Why would you want to chat with somebody? Oh, maybe you can keep them alive, Zakobo. I think I see what you're saying. Oh no, Arbo, so sorry about that. Glad you could jump in. What's new? How you been, dude? And you can check your map. Oh, that's right. The map does tell you where people are. When you see someone naked, you can tell at a glance whether they're trustworthy or not. <laughs> when they're naked? How does that work? Which is why it's necessary for us to bear ourselves to each other. You understand? So show me what you got. Show me everything. Just for that, I'm not getting that. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not, I'm not chatting with you, dude. That was the weirdest thing you could have possibly said at that moment in time. Okay, let's check our map. Yeah, it's this map. Or no, I think it's the other map. That does not tell us. Okay, it is this one. Okay, well, Chihiro's here. I like Chihiro. She seems pretty cool. Where's she hiding? Oh, yes, to get abilities. That's a good call, yeah. Um, I think we did get Leon's ability before he did the best. Chihiro might be in the library. 
Oh, there's that guy. No, don't like you. You suck. <laughs> he doesn't want to be friends with anybody. Although, getting his ability could be cool. I don't even think I've been in this room right here. Reality isn't everything. Oh, she seems pretty cool, too, actually. Maybe we should talk to her. I didn't even see her on the map. Whew. I have to put all my energy into watching out for myself. I don't have time to worry about anyone else. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and spend some time with her. She, she helped us out in the case quite a bit. Correct. You want to spend time with me? However... But I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? Too late. I don't have a choice. I already said yes. I spent some time with Kyoko in silence. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. I mean, that's actually not a bad thing. It can be nice just to, like, be in someone's presence. You don't have to talk the whole time, right? Would you like to give him a present? Sure. Let's see what they like. Oh, cat, thank you for following with account number two. I appreciate that. Give her a Coke? Some salt? <laughs> what? Give somebody just straight up salt? Royal curry, maybe? Bird seed? That seems weird. I forget, what is what is her deal? Is there a way I can look at what she does? I don't think I can from here. I forget what her deal is. Like, what her... She's the ultimate what? Fresh bindings? Uh, maybe earmuffs? What else we got? Berserker armor. Oh, yeah, that's totally... Oh, we don't know what hers is. That's right, Sokobo. Not a fastball. Secrets of the Amoplata. I don't know what that is. I think that might be a martial arts thing, which would be uh, Sakura. Maybe she likes video games. Probably not. A man's fantasy. What the hell does that mean? It's like a wooden bucket with, like, underwear or a towel hanging out the side. <laughs> I don't get it. Maybe a school crest? Probably not a bat. I'm gonna, I think crest. Yeah, let's do the school crest. Total wild guess. Like, what is this bullshit? Sorry. Oh, I can't give her that. That's a key item. Whoops. I have a Coke. Who doesn't like Coke? Probably her. Curry. Correct. Are you sure about this? She, look, she sounds very serious about this curry. Sorry. Does that mean she liked it? Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Being trapped in a place like this. Uh, who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared being trapped in this insane school. Correct. Ah, that's good. That's good? So... Fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for every anyone who can't feel fear. Whew. Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. Wrong. I'm scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. You hide, huh? Correct. What I mean is, I'm not as foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open? Listen. Hey, you earned some more time, Cat. Nice. Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What do you mean? So... You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> I know. She didn't bother answering any further. She just turned and... Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> See ya. With that, she was gone. Well, we're still just getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more next time. I don't think I understand her at all yet. I don't think we gained much at all from that. <laughs> That was a poor choice. We did upgrade uh, skill points, though. That's cool. And it's nighttime. Head back to our room. Or maybe it's not nighttime quite yet. Oh, Zakobo, thank you for the follow, dude. Oh, there is still plenty of time left. Um, get the hell out of here, then. Okay, let's see who's near us. We got. 
The swimming girl's cool. Sakura seems cool. Or, yeah, Sakura. There she is. She's in the laundry room. Um, Let's talk to the swimming girl. Now that the swimming room's open, I'm kind of scared maybe she'll be the first to go. Uh, where was she? This room? I think it showed her here. So what changed, Cat? How did you earn some extra time? There she is. Hmm. The key is not the will to win. Everyone has that. It will, it's the will to prepare to win that's important. Yeah. That's a quote from the famous basketball coach, Bobby Knight. Okay. So it's like, we have to work hard, you know? Hmm, should I talk to Hino for a while? Sure. There we go. Okay. Mm -mm. I was thinking of going to the pool for a quick dip. You should come with me. Sure. We went for a swim with Hina. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> Hina and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Uh, do we have anything swimming related? I don't think so. And some characters have rather interesting FTEs, but you'll keep that to yourself. All the more fun to discover, right? She might like a Coke. She's real sporty. Oh, I could just like zoom around with that. G sick, maybe a watch? Kind of looks like a sports watch. I think bindings is going to be for Sakura. I think that one as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna try giving her this watch. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Oh, we can get descriptions? If you hit it with the button that isn't the give option. Oh, there we go. Good call. I didn't even think about that, Zakobo. So most most people consider it a throwaway watch due to its poor quality. Still, it enjoys massive popularity thanks to its low price. So it's like trash. Thanks, game. Oh, I still have oh no, I'm out of royal curry. Bird seeds. Sprinkle this around outside and watch the birds come flocking. There's nothing stopping you from eating it, I suppose. Well, there's no birds here. Uh, what about that salt? A basic seasoning produced from evaporation of seawater. Uh, it also sees use as a preservative. I don't know who would want that. Hmm. Now, what is this exactly? Uh, jiu-jitsu. This is a jiu-jitsu book. Okay. And the fun plane, which is a game system. High-def touchscreen. Let's do that. Let's give that up. <laughs> yeah, right, Frost? Some just trash you got out of the river? You got it! Ah, yes. The queen accepts this royal tribute. <laughs> just kidding. Thanks, Makoto. Oh, good. She's, she seemed to like it. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Hmm. Oh man, oh man. What's up? Okay. I'm getting totally fired up. What? How come? <laughs> How come doesn't matter. Now that I'm revved up, I need to get it out. Let's race. I don't think that's a good idea. I wouldn't stand a chance anyway. That's right. Really? Well, I don't mind a solo run. Well, hold on. You always seem so excited, Hina. What's your deal? Huh? Hey, you making fun of me? No, no, no. I'm just impressed. Hmm. Really? I used to know this one guy. He was always like, Hina, you're like a super spaz. Super spaz? Yeah. Yeah. Like, he'd see me wearing shorts in winter, and he'd say stuff like that. Hmm. But if you lose to the cold like that, it just means you weren't dedicated enough. Wow, you did stuff like that and didn't get sick? You got it all wrong. Getting sick is for the weak. If you're really dedicated, winter means even lighter clothes. It's all part of your training. Training, huh? Hmm. So like, are you the type who gets sick easy? Actually, yeah. Personally, me, no. I never get sick. It's very rare. Hmm. See, you're soft. You need more training. Okay. Okay, I've got the perfect remedy to keep someone like you fit as a fiddle. Huh? What kind of remedy? Yeah. Actually, I do this myself every morning. You just strip down to your waist, then take a dry towel and start rubbing down your bare skin. I call it, uh, huh? what do I call it again? A way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. 
Let's take a shot at this. <laughs> the bamboo beatdown. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's exactly what it is. It's not yoga. Yoga is like stretching and stuff, right? <laughs> Cat, are you always feeling sick? They're calling you out. They're calling you out. You just got to do the bamboo beatdown, Cat, and you won't get sick. <laughs> Did it? Oh, it kind of looks a little bit like the Switch Lite. I get that, Zakobo. Um, I gotta choose that answer. How can I not? Bamboo beatdown, maybe? Well, um, I don't remember saying anything about bamboo. It'd be the towel tree, probably. Yeah. Although some people do think that using bamboo to apply pressure to the bottom of your feet is good for you. Hmm. That's just crazy, though. Now rubbing yourself down with a towel—that's where it's at. <laughs> sure does, Weeb. And I call it a way to keep healthy by stripping down and rubbing a towel across your skin. Let's take a shot at this. I'm going to do this one. Is it something like towel treatment? You got it. Oh my god, yeah, that's it. I love going on my apartment balcony, stripping down, feeling the wind on my skin. Whoa, he's an exhibitionist, huh? God, it feels so amazing. I never let a morning pass without getting a good rub down game. Wait, so you went out on your balcony, stripped, and got a rub down? Hey, you got another one, cat. Nice. And you were okay with that? <laughs> you should give it a try. If you haven't got your health, you haven't got anything. <laughs> yeah, Makoto's like, oh, oh, wait, what, what time do you do this exactly on your balcony? Uh, I hate to see you catch a cold or something. Well, that was something. All right, got our skill points raised. Do I need to spend these skill points or is that something that just automatically happens? After being introduced to a unique sickness prevention method, I went back to my room. Hey, Michael, you made it, dude. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, what time do you do this and where do you live? Just curious. You do have to spend them. Okay, I'll be sure to do that next time I get a chance. <laughs> school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Really right now, Michael, we've just had a couple down days. Like, you know, we had the, the two deaths at the end of the last stream. So far today, nobody's died yet. We've just been like looking, exploring. They opened up a new floor for us to explore, the second floor, and there's like a swimming pool and stuff there, but nothing too crazy yet. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. For the most part, we're just kind of like talking to people, looking around the new areas, that kind of thing. Another day gone, but even though today is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is this going to keep going? Great question. All the stress and anxiety kept me from falling asleep until late in the night. Oh, here comes one of those weird dreams. <laughs> I think this is our dreams, right? <laughs> Shh, Michael, I'm not supposed to know. Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have a tendency to stare. I can't help it. I just gaze with intensity. The other day, I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> Weird ass dream. Sometimes it kind of represents what happened during the day. Sometimes I don't get the reference. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. <laughs> yeah, you did. I'm scared we're going to like wake up one of these days and like five people are going to be dead. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of them being dreams because it seems like the ding dong kind of wakes us up, you know? Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall before anything else. And it, because like it's like a weird sequence of events that doesn't make a whole lot of sense in reality but it also represents a little bit about what's going on in the game which kind of makes it sense to be a dream oftentimes you dream about things that might be happening in your life but it's not exactly the same you know wait that's the bathroom right don't need to go that way here we go leave the area yes oh and they do some foreshadowing there too that's cool 
Okay, so off to the cafeteria. I went to the breakfast meeting, same as always. That's a lot of deaths, though. That's what happened in the first day, Cat. Yeah, we had the two deaths and then the execution. But. Uh oh. What's but? <clears throat> Is this everyone? It feels a little small. Bayakuya and Toko had stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising that they hadn't come today. Uh, uh... Even the tables look bigger, somehow. I assume that it's because three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, with five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Hmm. Still, I know Bayakuya is whatever, but shouldn't we go check on Toko? For serious? I vote no. She's super annoying. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> How can you be so cold? You are like a piece of rock candy. You hear me? What? No, rock candy isn't cold. It's sweet. Ugh, shit. Anyway, Bayakuya is a real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. Huh? <laughs> yeah, Celeste, she doesn't hold back. We got no choice. Get some rope. We're going to have to keep him bound and gagged. I think that's going a little overboard. Count on it. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns loose cannon. It's just like when we were kids, and someone would go crazy at sports day or whatever. What? What the f*** are you talking about? You're gonna use the rope to do tug-of-war or something? Idiot. It can't be. I'm not an idiot. Yo! You're an idiot. <laughs> Damn you. <laughs> such a goof. I love it. Who are you calling stupid? Huh? What's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Aww. I'm just going through a little... Self-loathing. Huh? Self-loathing? Well, after what Buyakaya said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous. I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Maybe we should have hung out with her yesterday. Mondo ended up having to help me out. And even he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. I hate how weak I am. Ah. Ah, I see. So Mondo made you depressed. What? 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 How's it my fault? Hey, come on. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, right? Are, are you crying? It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. Oh. Hey, come on. Don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't yell at you anymore. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's true, Zagobo. She she does look like the youngest in the group for sure. Hmm. But she might just be small. You never know. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Huh? Just just shut up. What? <laughs> yeah, pick on what? someone your own size, right, Chili? I got it. I'll make you a promise as a man. Huh? Promise as a man? Yeah, that's right. Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid. There was one thing my brother told me over and over again. I think he did mention this. He said that no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he left me. Um, nephew? Yeah. Oh yeah, my brother's dead. Oh, I see. That's true. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. Don't want to make all you guys cry. Yo. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise. So you don't got to cry anymore. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mondo. Uh, uh. Sure. But... I, I still don't know how I am right now. I have to get stronger. If I'm so weak, anything can make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um... No, I want to get stronger. Go hit the gym. Maybe should I start working out? <laughs> In that case, I would be happy to help you at any time. <laughs> Jeez, dude. But then Miss Fugisaki would get smashed into a billion pieces. Just a second. Shut up, you. <laughs> you know? Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? I see. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone, thank you. <laughs> yeah, the, man, I've heard that song so many times, Okobo. My wife loves that movie. Um, 
I can't think of the name of it right now. Mulan. Yeah, I've heard that song so many times. She would watch it before she goes to bed. <laughs> and Kazuha, how you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream. And Michael, if you were Makoto, you'd probably try to be friends with Chihiro. It seems like she'd be pretty loyal once you get to know her. And she just needs help. So I think you help her out, she's going to help you out. That's not a bad choice. Probably try talking to her next time. And there's a plot twist coming up. Oh, dear, cat. Oh, dear. And imagine Chihiro ends up becoming ripped like Sakura. <laughs> can happen. I don't know if there's enough protein in that building to handle that, though. Okay, it looks like Chihiro's gotten some life back. Yeah, man, if we keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get out of this crappy place sooner or later. Although us helping her is also making her a more uh, viable opponent. You know, we're actually making her stronger. But eventually we have to kill everybody, right? I mean, someday, I'm sure. <laughs> That's very true, Zocobo. Yeah, be sure you don't like let me know if anything's coming up, Cat. It's more fun to be surprised. And a lot of people in the stream haven't seen the game yet. Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up for breakfast. The only things I would ever say you can kind of give me spoilers for, and it's probably not even going to happen in this game, is if there's like a, um, like a trigger warning. For example, if there's like a scene of rape or a scene, something like that, you can feel safe to like just in chat say, hey, there's a trigger warning coming up. If you have any triggers, you can, you know, DM me and I can tell you more of what's coming up just so people can like step away if something bad's going to happen. But otherwise, I don't think we need any spoilers. As the other two who never showed up for breakfast, what can I do and try to understand those two better? So now what can I do today? So I think we should do a combination of like maybe helping Chihira out and maybe talking to some of the people that are trying to be on the outs with everybody. Because the game kind of told me right now, you should probably get to know the people that uh, are not here. Oh, Zukobo, when we played Last of Us 2, I played it kind of close to release. The amount that people were trying to spoil that game was amazing. I've never seen so many trolls on Twitch before. I mean, we don't get too many trolls in this stream. Everyone's really cool, but that just blew me away. Okay, none of them. You know what's sad is I really don't want to, like, hang out with those characters that aren't part of the group, though. I don't like them. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, check the map. Let's see, who is here? There's nobody on this floor. Okay, I think everybody's on the second floor. So let's book it there, this way. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, Chili. Although, luckily the, the blood and dead bodies is a little bit neutered in this game because they make all the blood kind of like hot pink. It'd be a little gross, but like, you know, it's not as gruesome as let's say Martha is dead. Or something like that. That game was ridiculous. Yes, Zokobo. That was happening like crazy when I was playing Last of Us 2. And I had to ban so many words in stream just to keep that from happening. It was insane. Okay, so she should be right around here. There's him. There she is. <laughs> Bleeding Pepto Bismol. That's what it looks like. Oh god. Hello there. How nice it is to see you here. Hmm, should I hang out with your hero? Sure, let's do it. Yay. Oh, I should have gone to get more presents first. Yay, I really like talking to you. I spent some time talking with your hero. Oh, I haven't had Cheerios in a long time. Honey nut Cheerios or like the standard Cheerios? All right, we grew a little bit closer. Let's give her a present. Why would you not? Uh, what would she like? Bunny earmuffs. That's totally her thing. What does it say? One of the most popular items from the Gothic Lolita designer. Oh, no. Gothic Lolita. That's going to be for... I can't think of her name, but that other character. That's not going to be for her. Hmm, I should save that. Actually, if she wants to get stronger, 
We should give her that jujitsu book. Yeah, Celeste, that's the one. Yes. And uh, Kazuha, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. Where is it? Here it is. Yeah, let's give her this. She wants to become stronger. She would probably get a lot out of this. Huh? I can have this? <laughs> Thank you. This has made me feel a little better. Good. Good. Does this mean she liked it? Mm. No. No. What's wrong, Chihiro? Um... Uh, it hurts. Huh? Did you get hurt, Chihiro? You know? Well... Not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. <laughs> yeah, I know. I say, does she like it? And she's like, no. But I think that was us thinking. We weren't saying that out loud. A mosquito? Oh, I figured something serious had happened since you were saying how it hurt. <laughs> we're just kind of downplaying her pain. Huh? Oh, did I give you the wrong impression? Sorry. You don't have to apologize. It was my own fault. But you did said it hurts. Did it really bite you that hard? Um. Yeah. See, look. I mean, it could. She could be, you know, allergic to something. Be bad. She held held out her arm, and a huge red bump stood clearly against her pale skin. Holy cow! What should I do? It's way past itchy now. It really hurts. But why is it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? You're wrong. Oh no, I was awake. But you didn't notice. Mm. No, I noticed, but... Was, is she so delicate that she couldn't take herself to, like, swap it away or kill it? You know? Well, I felt it bite me, and I looked down at it, but I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. You just watched? Why didn't you smack it? Huh? Because that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but... You know? It must have been really hungry, hungry to suck that much blood. If it was that hungry, it would have been really sad not to let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Um... Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have its own mosquito family. <laughs> okay, I am not scared of this girl killing me. Sorry, I know that's dumb. No, really, you don't have to apologize. But don't go scratching it, okay? That'll just make things worse. But... But it gets so itchy, I can't take it. Well, in that case, just take the tip of your fingernail and push into the bump. That'll help. Huh? Wow, I had no idea. I didn't know that was better for it or not. <laughs> the mosquito needed Pepto-Bismol cat. Let's see. And did Chihiro inherit Sayaka's psychic power? All that joke over and over again, right? <laughs> I'm a psychic. Oh, were you guys all surprised that she liked it, the, the present? It kind of made sense to me in a weird way, because she wanted to be stronger, so why not give her a book about self-defense, right? And does that mean there's a place for bugs to get in somehow? My guess would be like some kind of, uh, what do you call it? Like a filtration system, air, AC or something? Mosquitoes could get in there for sure. Oh, Cheerios is a joke nickname for Chihiro? I gotcha, that makes sense. <laughs> that's very true for the stream, Michael. Perfect quote. <laughs> I mean, that's just how what I do in games. I try to do good, I fail, and everybody dies. <laughs> You're so smart, Makoto. Hey, Shan. What's up, Shan? How you doing, buddy? Uh, as she said that, she smiled like a tiny, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. Oh, no. You know who the last person that smiled at us all the time to kind of woo us a little bit? Uh, Sayaka, how did that turn out for us? If so, that's a whole other level of scary. Good, we've learned. We've learned. Mm. But anyway, don't you think it's kind of strange? Huh, what is? You know? Well, that the school's completely sealed off, right? So how did a mosquito get in? Mm, you're onto something, Sokobo. Maybe there's somewhere in the school where bugs can live and grow. Some kind of nature-y spot? Are you saying smiling equals death? <laughs> smiling might equal um, manipulation. A nature place in the school. Well, I can't say for sure that there's not. Uh. Or, or maybe it's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. Secret passage. 
Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll be out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right. Working together is super important. But... Of course, I don't know how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh all of you down. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing you're here to help. Huh? It does? Really? Yep. So let's all do our best, okay? Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Makoto. All right. We got some more skill points. I need to spend these. <laughs> Smiling equals sus. Exactly. <laughs> Keep that frown. <laughs> do not slander Chihiro. I will destroy you. I'm just saying, like, you, know, you don't want history to repeat itself, Sheely. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. <laughs> I will purge this community if Chihiro is slandered. I like her so far. I like her. It's just that we had a weird feeling when she smiled at us. Probably from previous, you know, experiences, I'm sure. Well, Leon didn't smile, Kazuha, because he wasn't trying to, you know, put us under his, uh, his spell. He wasn't trying to hypnotize us with his beauty. There's still time left in the day. Oh, now we should go talk to one of the people that was not hanging out with us. Well, let's see if we can spend some points. How does this work? Report card? No, that's just like information. Do you do skill points under presence? No. Regulations? Where do I spend? That's just like the rules. System? No. I should probably save it, actually. <laughs> hey, beauty's in the eye of the beholder, Kazuha. Um, which is the most recent one? That one? So let's save here. It's been a while since we saved. I don't know where I go to... Um... Oh, I think this is where we level them up, right? You level up your truth bullets? I don't think I can do that yet. Okay, so let's see... Who do we got? I should probably talk to... None of these people. We could talk to Toko. I don't like Toko. But we could talk to her, I guess. <laughs> if we have to. <laughs> it just means he's doing a different type of manipulation, Sokobo. Just because he doesn't smile doesn't mean he's not evil. It just means he's not trying to woo us. To, like, you know, weaken us, essentially. But before we go talk to Toko, we should go buy some more presents. Um, I think the store was right over here. Yeah, he, they just kind of tell it like it is. Celeste and Biakuya, they just tell you exactly like it is. Okay, here's the store. Oh, can you hang out with the same person twice in a row, Frost? I didn't think about that. Might not be bad to try to hit up Chihiro again. So the first one, if I only do one coin, it's only 8.7% chance. But the more I do these, the more chance there are of repeats. Hey, that's cool. It's like a hair piece. See, now it's nine. You guys can't see it. Let me hide myself. There we go. So it's a 9.8% chance to stream. <laughs> How could you, cat? So let's get it like down to at least below eight. Don't have that. I don't know what that is. Like a ticket or something? I have to keep adding more and more just to get that percentage down. Yeah, Kazuha, it's the style. Some games just have a really good art style, so no matter how long the game's been out, it still looks great. Hey, we got a ring. Nice. Seven. Okay, this will be the last one we do now. Nice. Okay, all unique presents. That's good. Whoops, wrong button. There we go. Now let's go hang out with... What do you think, guys? Toko or Chihiro? The game warned us that we should probably hang out with one of those people that is like not playing nice with everybody else. Just to kind of find out what's on their mind. What are they doing? <laughs> Hang out with Mondo? 
Mondo's the kind of jerk guy, right? <laughs> Toko, I want regret. Let's see, I think. Let's see. I actually haven't hung out with M Mondo yet. Wait, which room is hers? Yoko. There she is. I think she's in here. <laughs> yeah, he's just very quick to anger. That's very true. I guess I should press the doorbell. What's your problem? I hate her so much. What do you want? Hmm. Should we hang out for a while? Sure. Do you want to spend time with me? Not really. I don't know what you're planning, but do whatever you want. Weird statement. <laughs> I spent some time with Toko. That must have been awkward. Whoa. Why you gotta come out of the room with that face? Toko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give her a present? Sure! What would she like? Salt? Because she's just so damn salty, maybe? Um, a kitten hair clip. Let's look at the descriptions. A hair clip with the shape of a little kitty cat. Properly placed, it can make a girl positively sparkle. I'm not sure about that. I'm <laughs> sorry, she couldn't help it. Uh, maybe everlasting bracelet. A handcrafted item made with a needle and thread. They say once you put it on, it will never come off again. That's terrifying. Love ring status. Wear it on your right hand. You're looking uh, for love. On your left, you found it. On both, well, that's just asking for catastrophe. Maybe we give her a cheap watch. <laughs> Berserker armor, because she's always trying to start fights. A moon rock? A rock taken from the Sea of Tranquility on the moon by the astronauts in Apollo 11. Its composition is apparently unusual for where it was found. Ah, oh, that's true. She is a romance writer. I didn't think about that. Yeah, actually, that heart ring probably makes the most sense. That's a good call. I like that, Frost. I like that. Okay, let's do this. What's your problem? If it's really okay for me to have it, I'll take it. But I'm not going to give it back. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. Good. I had a couple failures giving presents. She's just standing there. Does she want something? Hey, three, two, one. How are you doing, dude? Long time to see. What's new? But she's not saying anything. She's just staring off into the distance. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Um, Toko? <laughs> what? You want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, so talk already. Okay, sure, but what should I say? So, uh, what do you like to do in your spare time? <laughs> Why do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know, we're trapped here together, right? If we're going to be friends, it'd be nice to get to know each other. Uh. Huh? What did you just say? Um, did she not like the term friends? <laughs> After that part about being trapped, we're going to be what? Uh, friends? <laughs> Chick is crazy. What do you mean, friends? You think I'm stupid? Are you trying to trick me? Oh, God. I've already been hurt once before. I'm not going to let it happen again. You've been hurt? What happened? Anyway. Come on. You don't really care about me. You don't want to know about me. Even I know that. No, that's not true. Fine. <laughs> Then tell me. Tell you what? <laughs> you know why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Hey, therapy android, what's going on? <laughs> Good morning. 
and three, two, one. I've been doing great, dude. Things are good. I had a wonderful Easter holiday. And just like you were saying, Shan, it was really nice. I went to hung out with uh, some family, got to see my uh, sister-in-law and uh, her daughter. So we had fun there. Letting, we hid some eggs for them. Then we went up to my mother-in-law's house with my wife and uh, had some good food and fun there. It was a nice time. How about your Easter? Oh, things are good therapy. I'm excited. This is my short work week. I get Friday off. Yeah, sure. You've won all kinds of literature prizes and stuff. <laughs> then tell me what I'm good at. Tell me what my genre specialty is. If you really want to convince me you give a crap, you should at least know that. The genre the ultimate writing prodigy specializes in. Thank you, Frost, for the reminder. It was romance. It's romance, of course. How about you, Therapy? How have you been? Oh, you actually knew. Your biggest success was So Lingers the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. Ah, oh, see you later, 321. Thanks for dropping in and saying hi. The book was such a hit that fishermen shot to the top of the hottest men poles, right? <laughs> How did you know that? There's no way you care about me. It's, it's nothing to do about caring about you. I just know your work. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? <sighs> I'm blind. Your straightforward nature blinded me. <laughs> she ran away. Oh, that's awesome. That definitely sounds exactly like that frost. Hermit never leaves the house, right? Tok Toko ran off, screaming like a banshee. I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? <laughs> Was that a positive experience? I can't tell. Oh, we unlocked the skill vocabulary. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Nice. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Oh, that's so cool. It's warming up where you are, therapy, so you can enjoy the motorcycles again. That's so much fun. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I better go get something to eat before it's nighttime. I should head to the dining hall then, I guess. Uh -huh, we're going to find a corpse or something. Oh, 100%, Michael. I mean... It just sounds like they're going to be very unstable and cause a lot of drama, you know? <laughs> you have to have a lot of patience to spend time with somebody quite like that. I wanted to get something to eat, and now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. Listen oh, to me. No. Hey, Makoto. Perfect timing. Huh? What's going on? Hey, damn it. I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, I'm going to talk to him first because he scares me less. Let's see, you've had a very cold spring so far and the warm weather is very welcome. Oh, that's so good to hear, Therapy. We've had actually a really cold winter and uh, like spring for us as well. Of course, cold for us is like 50s to 60s Fahrenheit. <laughs> you know, it's not really cold, but colder than usual for us. Usually it's like upper 60s, lower 70s all year round. So I'm looking forward to warming up a bit too. I want to go outside and barbecue. Listen to me! You just came in at the right time. I must ask for your full cooperation. Okay. Do I have to talk to you a second time? Listen to me! No? Okay, let's talk to you then. Hey, damn it! Come on, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. Ask about that. Witness to what? What? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one, calling me a coward and shit like that. You're corrupt! You are a coward. That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems. Yo! That's why you can't do what society asks of you. Why you walk around dressed like that. Huh? The f you say? Yeah. You don't know shit. You hear me? You have already lost to yourself. You're such a coward you don't even realize it. D damn uh, you! So, what? You're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? Count on it! I know I am. You wanna fight? Okay, then let's throw down. Prove what you, uh, prove you got what I don't got. I <laughs> uh, see so you've been noticing the weather more since you started gar gardening, Elegant. Um, and it's been so rainy and cool, your plants don't like it. Oh no. Yeah, you know, we're, we're pretty much, any new plants we get are generally succulents. 
because they survive everything. And of course, being in California, we're always in drought. So having plants that need a lot of water, not the smartest financial decision you can make. <laughs> Water's really expensive here. Oh, do you have family visiting you right now, Cat? You hear me? I accept your challenge. What? So that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna like start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside? I see. I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? Got it! We're gonna see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Piece of shit! Goddamn straight. That just proves who can be dehydrated the best. <laughs> California practically has its own seasons. Well, it depends on where you're at in California. I mean, you could be like uh, in the mountains where you get like snow and proper winter, or you can be in the desert where it's just scorching hot. Where I'm at, kind of on the coast, you don't really get seasons. The coldest it usually gets, like the highs, is like the upper to mid 50s Fahrenheit. And the hottest it usually gets is like upper 70s, low 80s. There's a little bit of moving around, but not much else. Are you guys really going to go through with this? Stop fucking around. Shit, yeah. Yo! He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are, without exception, all talk. You want to throw down? Bring it on. Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting. You son of a bitch. We're going to battle with our clothes on. Ridiculous. That's idiotic. Suicidal. You want to fight? What? You're afraid? <laughs> You're going to regret this. Stop fucking around. Shut up and let's do this. <laughs> They're just going to like overheat themselves. Hey. Hey. Mondo. He did not keep his clothes on. He actually stripped down. That's cheating, isn't it? What asshole. You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? <laughs> His corn cob head is haircuts doing pretty good in this hot uh, steaming weather. It just so happens I was born with a red face. Oh, cat, did they already take off? <laughs> but it's good you got to see some family for Easter. Sorry they were so loud. You don't have to act all big, man. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. You know, I'm, I got a pretty high tolerance for pain, things like that. I could probably do these kind of things pretty well. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed. Then a few dozen minutes. Then an hour. Imagine if they both died in there, but there was no murderer because they just time. died of stupidity. Darwin up. Award. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. <laughs> yeah. Ass. So manly, right, Frost? <laughs> and you gotta love some fan service, including men instead of women. That is really nice. I'd love to see that diversity there, for sure. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. <laughs> Weeba told me, you know what that reminds me of? When we play that uh, Jackbox game, the murder trivia party, and at the end it tells you everybody's cause of death, excess stupidity could be one of them. They usually will say, like, bad at math, or couldn't spell, just things like that. That's probably not good. <laughs> yeah, if you're starting to feel cold, you might be dying. Hey, uh, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Shut up! Uh, I just can't win. Oh crap, we gotta get to bed. Hmm. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Oh, I didn't know that is your cells dying. That's not a good feeling. <laughs> As such, it is officially night time. They both have to quit. You're both tough. How about that? Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. 
Don't let the bed bug bite. And luckily, Frost, it's just arithmetic. <laughs> so it's not too bad. You just got to be fast. Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call out a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. <laughs> Michael, why you gotta call me out? Listen to you, you son of a bitch. Then bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. Was that what the rule was, Frost? I kind of forget the specifics. Are you allowed to be out of your room at night, but you just can't go to sleep anywhere else? The gates of hell. That's not a good place to push someone. Th this isn't good, guys. Oh. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl on your back to your own room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start sprinting my, my legend. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning, you'll fall down in front of me, down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. Right back at you. Okay, well, good night then. <laughs> I'm scared we're going to find them both dead in the morning. I really hope those two don't overdo it. But I'm sure. To the death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. <laughs> put nothing past anybody in this game. Oh, that's right, Frost. That was just a homebrew rule, right? And the official rule was no sleeping outside the dorm room. That's not too bad. And since Leon could obviously leave his room during the night, I don't think there was a punishment. No, nope, that's exactly right, uh, Kazuo, yeah. And if they were a thousand miles away and you were speaking to someone right next to them, you would have to yell for them to barely hear me. <laughs> so are they hard of hearing, Cat? Is that what you're saying? The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. Hey, dream time. I think it's a dream. If fate does exist, then does that mean your future is decided the moment you were born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive, because I don't know. That's why I desperately cling to life. Yeah, I think it's got to be some kind of weird dream as well. <laughs> I love the subtitles for that. Ding, dong, bing, bong. It's canon. That's how old doorbells are now. Ding, dong, bing, bong. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. That's actually the way they do the system. They cut off the food at 10 p.m. It's actually a really good system. It's like the worst time to uh, eat is like right before you go to sleep. You want to have some time uh, towards the end of your night where you just don't eat anything. It's good for your metabolism. <laughs> yeah, bing, bong, ding, dong. You screwed it up, Frost. You ruined it. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Of course, I love snacks all throughout the night. So don't follow my actions. It's just the advice that's good. Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. I can't imagine they kill off both those characters. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. And when I entered... <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Are they like best friends now? What the? Yo. Hey, Makato. <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Uh, are they friends now? <sighs> They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. What? Feels gross. Hell no. Feels great more like. Oh, oh. I love it. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. <laughs> Wait, against who? <laughs> I mean, it seems consensual. <laughs> Forget her, bro. Uh, a girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. You hear me? Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Uh, that's a little sexist. Ain't that right? What you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. 
I should get a tattoo of it. <laughs> Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit! Who gives a shit? Got it! Yeah, don't ask super stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what it used what I'm used to with girls. Ah. Yeah, for real. <laughs> All throughout breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. <laughs> and you do the same thing, Michael. It's so hard. Like, especially when I'm done with the stream. Like, I've been really good. I start the stream at 7 p.m., so like right after dinner. And if I could not snack on anything as soon as I'm done streaming, I'd be golden. You know, I usually, when I'm done, I make my breakfast and lunch for tomorrow at work. I brush my teeth, take the dog's potty, get them cleaned up, and go to bed and shower myself. I should not snack during that time. It's very hard for me not to, because I do get hungry. I haven't had anything to eat in like four hours almost. So, what should I do today? Hmm, who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. For some reason I knew it was going to be Toko forcing her way in. I think because we talked to her. Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? <laughs> <laughs> Love those. Those are great emotes. That's awesome. And that's the thing with you. You still have a very fast metabolism, so I'm still on the skinny side. That's good, Michael. Keep it up. It slows down when you get older. That sucks. Oh, I wish I could join you therapy Thursday. Thursday night around this time. I will be having coffee. Guaranteed. Well, I know I'm... Or I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> I have a favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. Oh no, what is she trying to do? And where is it you want to go? Oh, well. The library. You can't go there by yourself? Uh, are you looking for a book or something? Why don't you just ask Byukuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. Did I say something wrong? <laughs> You're not a blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. <laughs> then let's go to the library. That's me. Like, as far as, like, all of our friends are concerned, like, anybody that tells me, like, something in private is like, yeah, I'm like a steel trap. I'm not going to tell anybody. Unless you're telling me something like, if you are thinking about hurting yourself or something like that, that's something else. You need to, like, get that out there and talk to people and get help, but... You got, like, a secret you tell me? Take that to my grave. <laughs> okay, got it. The library. Jeez, why so pushy? Ooh, apple cranberry juice. That sounds really good, Frost. <laughs> yeah, and we're going to get killed, right, Sheely? Quiet. Be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She was actually starting to get annoyed. But I did what she said and gently crept into the library. We're sneaking around this guy, huh? What's going on? Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was here by himself, absorbed in a book. He's here. <laughs> He's really here. What the hell's wrong with this chick? Okay, Makoto, go talk to him. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. Is she, like, really into him or something? That's kind of crazy. All right. Well, let me talk to her one time beforehand. I'm curious what she's thinking of. <laughs> Come on, just talk to him. All right. 
He seems really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Well, f you too, dude. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Naturally. Of course. Now hurry up and leave. Hmm. And take her with you. <laughs> hey, um, Biyakuya? <laughs> Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men, be a woman dominated by a stronger man? Oh, God. <laughs> Where is this going? <laughs> I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Get out. And go take a bath. You smell. Oh, 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 oh burn. Man, that's got to be a killer to your uh, your ego. Oh, my gosh. Don't make me repeat myself. Go now, before your stench latches onto the entire room. Okay. Oh, man, she got destroyed. Uh, he really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? <laughs> she was basically asking to get dominated. And then he says, get out of here, you smell. Go take a shower. Be a kuya. To go that far. He must be really concerned about... Wow. She's got it bad. She has no idea. Huh? He told me to take a bath in everything. He must really care about my well-being. <sighs> hey, Makoto, what do you think? Think about what? Do you think Bayakoya and I would be a good together? Well, uh, I don't really know. Maybe. That's true. There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. This is a very parasitic relationship. Very one way. <laughs> okay. <sighs> there might come a day when you understand. Maybe. Someday. Well, bye. I hope I don't understand. Whoa! Ah, young love. Oh. Who would have guessed that she would go for someone like him? Shing. But eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong dimension. <laughs> yes, I gotta be wrapping up pretty soon here, cat. Stupid work and, you know, sleep. That was weird he popped up just to say that. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Maybe I'll head back to the room for now. <laughs> we love going to our bedroom just to like look around and be like, you should go do something. <laughs> Quit going back to your room. There's still, like this, there's still some time left in the day. What to do? What are we doing? Are we like putting on cologne every time we go back here? Are we like changing clothes? What are we doing every time? Free time. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Now we can go talk to Chihiro again. Let's see where she is. <laughs> yeah, crazy is an understatement with her, 100%. Okay, looks like she's here all by herself. What room is that? Is that the laundry room? It was like right over here, isn't it? Oh no, that's where the trash is. Is it this room? When the weekend gets here, cat, or whenever you get some time off. <laughs> That's why I love my weekends. I get to stay up late. I mean, I still like to get sleep, of course, but I get to game way later than normal. Mm. I wonder how that teddy bear actually operates. Could it be with a robot with an AI installed in it? No, we don't have that technology yet. Maybe it's some kind of bear-shaped cyborg from the future. <laughs> it's a Terminator. Hmm. Let's spend some time with her. <laughs> you want to sit down and talk for a while? All right. We spent some time with your hero. We're a little closer today. And let's give her a present. So we gave her 
self-defense stuff first. What else do we got? Kitten hair clip. What was the deal about this one again? Sparkles. Are any of these characters like obsessed with cats? I actually forget what her like, you know, profession is. What is she the best at? But that's gonna be for Celeste, I think. I like this. Maybe she would like this because she'd like to be more powerful. Donning this armor bestows the wearer with immense power, but at the cost of their soul and senses. <laughs> she does want to be more powerful. Oh, she's the programmer. Thank you, Sakobo. Oh, you know what? That game console might have been good for her. I don't have it anymore. Ancient tour tickets? Two tickets that advertise a whirlwind tour of Moo with the Ancients for four days and three nights. That sounds like a band is this? A wash basin intended to give you the courage to seek out a true man's fantasy, specifically in public bathhouses. I don't understand what that's saying and I don't want to understand what that's trying to tell me. I am good, game. Oh yeah, being a cyborg, yeah, it means you are part human, right? Okay, well, I don't know what else to give her, so I think I'm going to do this. And keep that item. It is very special. The bathhouse one. <laughs> it sounds pretty special. Although, I mean, we did just see two people duke it out in a bathhouse. Maybe one of them would like it. Oh, and that's true. It was willing to self-destruct, wasn't it, Shuli? I forgot about that. Yeah, let's do the kitten hair clip. We'll give it a shot. Uh, um... Ooh, that didn't work out. I'm sure someone else will appreciate having that more than me. Maybe you should find someone to give it to who can make better use of it. I think I upset her. She probably thinks worse of me now. Whoops. That's a bummer. I shouldn't have given a present at all. <laughs> I guess it is always an option, right? You don't have to give a present. Ahem. The school announcement. <laughs> That's a school perfect announcement. quote, Michael. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Oh, something different's happening. Did somebody die? Already? Emergency! Emergency! Why are we going to the gym? Gather in the gym? Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. I have a terrible feeling. Uh, let's go ahead and save it first. Yeah, she's the computer person, the programmer. Yeah, cat. Yeah, let's go ahead and save it again. There we go. And then book it to the gym. Can I tell where the gym is here? I don't think it's on this floor. I think it's over here somewhere. Hey, Samoan girl, welcome. You know, we're in uh, chapter two right now. We've finished the first uh, trial last stream. Nobody's died yet, but we just got an emergency meeting call in the gym by the pair. So, uh, yeah, maybe somebody's died. Something else bad happened. I'm not entirely sure. We'll have to check that out. Oh, he's here. What are you doing outside here? Hey, Hifumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? <laughs> Mr. Nayagi, don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. <laughs> no, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. <laughs> Damn it. That's true, too. I suppose. I guess we have no choice. I have to go, too. Wait, if I didn't talk to him, would he not go in there? That's interesting. Hmm. Asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this, what could he possibly want? Well, indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for sure. Well, I'm surprised he actually came. Um... Although, 
when the bear talks, everybody listens, right? How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of the episode? What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Hmm. Which of us is actually messed up? Hmm? Huh? Huh? What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here, living in blind denial day, or day after day. Hmm. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. People how... Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? You know, it's really just like one of those sound bar things, Phantasma, the thing above my head. And just for fun, they have a little thing up there to show you when there's audio and how it would look like, like a visualizer, you know? <laughs> it's interesting. It's just, I think it's just the music, though. Uh, how did that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign of whatsoever of possible rescue. Well... Th that's just... Huh? I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Hmm... On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control of even the police. Could it be? No, no, I think it's literally just like a sound visualizer. I'm pretty sure. Oh, this might not be related, but... <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it. <laughs> it's not like some occult mystery. It's about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space. When all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that... I don't really know what it was. <sighs> what kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it... Could it be... It was like a construction site, I guess. Hmm, maybe they're working on new rooms and stuff, huh? A construction you're site. Serious. I mean, I could be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? Who was that talking? I couldn't tell. I'm guessing it was the bear. What you talking about, Willis? Yeah, there he is. Okay, what is a special announcement? Boo. He's arrived. <laughs> What Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Hmm? <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. That can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? What? Ah, beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. And? Fine. Then let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? I mean, we don't have anything else better to do. Why not <laughs> hang out? If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? <sighs> I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all of its shine and luster. I'm thinking it's probably because of this ho-hum, boring old light, everyday life. <clears throat> I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, I'm the next plaquen hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Nobody's killing each other. Hey, um... So, I decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you going to show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Driving to murder? What a mean thing to say. Just awful. You hear me? I don't know what you got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. Got it! No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. Hmm. Hmm. That's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So, this time it's... Ba -bum, ba -bum. Embarrassing memories and secrets. As long as you're alive, 
it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own and dug up some of the darkest secrets. Yeah, never say never. And Good those point. those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. Gosh, what's our secret? I'm going to hand them out now. So take a second to take a peek. As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. <laughs> yes, right on your computer, your homework folder. Yeah, somehow it's like 400 gigabytes. I nervously pulled out what was written inside. What is your biggest secret? Cat! I cannot tell you my biggest secret because then it would not be a secret anymore. And my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in the fifth grade. <laughs> I mean, that sucks. Not the end of the world. It's in the past. You're over it. And it wasn't illegal. At least we got that, right? <laughs> A very embarrassing bathing picture. <laughs> what? How? How did you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. I know, right? Makoto doesn't have anything too bad. It's, we're pretty safe. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, Extreme! all of your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Maybe one, or maybe I'll roll by the crowded intersection in a van strapped to the loudspeakers and spill the beans. Yeah Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate. <laughs> Yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? <laughs> and 100% Zokobo is huge. Oh, well, I mean... Yeah, that's true, Michael. Don't do it again. <laughs> we never kill over something like that. What? What'd you say? Count on it! He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's going to murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. <laughs> Six million gigabytes. I don't even know if you can buy a hard drive that big, cat. <laughs> you need like a whole sand system of tons of hard drives. Is it because, for better or worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assume you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay then, in 24 hours, I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. Fair, not too well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So, um... I didn't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. But that's not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Depends on what secrets they got, and what do they consider embarrassing. Like, you know, if somebody say killed somebody else outside of this game maybe you wouldn't want that coming out because then you're going to jail listen to me good news everyone i have a brilliant idea you hear me why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now without a doubt if we do that any and all motive for murder will vanish that's pretty smart right quiet down and listen okay so my embarrassing thing is <laughs> I don't want to hear your stupid story. What? <laughs> Besides, I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me... Neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just a human nature to want to hear when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> yeah, it's not stupid. It's amazing. <laughs> Absolutely not. Come on, come it's on. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on. God, he's like salivating. You know what he thinks that story probably is, right? 
And Simone, you have a Squishmallow that is helping me wake up with a little to no pain. A Squishmallow? Is that like a marshmallow treat or something? Speaking of marshmallows, um, a little bit before Easter, we were get, grabbing some candy for our niece and um, we found like peeps, which I'm not a big peep fan, but we found uh, donut shop coffee flavored peeps. I'm a big fan of coffee. They actually weren't too bad. I mean, they still got that like overly sweet, sugary peep thing going on. But the aftertaste, the flavor was actually pretty good if you like coffee. So that wasn't too bad. And uh, Shili, it's literally not Makato's fault. That's just caused by a thing in the brain that makes you uh, do it when you don't have to pee. That's true. Yeah, see, it's it's embarrassing, but it's not like he did anything wrong, Shili. And it's over. It's in the past. He's done. <laughs> yeah, Fumi wants to see that homework. Honestly. As I said. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, they're plushies. Oh, nice. I was way off. Nice. Hey, as long as it helps wake you up, that's all good. Hey! Oh my gosh. She gets scary. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Say what? He likes it. He likes the punishment. <laughs> I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. <laughs> what do you think, Chihiro? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I really don't want to talk about it right now. But, but... But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um... If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. That's true. If everyone's that much against it, even if my bro is the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret's so bad you'd kill someone to keep it. Nobody's got something like that, right? Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... You hear me? Each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're gonna die because of it. <clears throat> <laughs> you have 57, 57 plushies on your bed, cat. <laughs> so, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. Well... The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Uh... Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's going to be tough, but... Oh, crap, is it nighttime already? I feel like Rachel just woke up. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Oh, that's really cool. It's not just for decoration or comfort. It actually is, gives you a physical aid. That's awesome, Simone. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. And entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed Here comes by. the random dream. Our favorite. Hmm. Nighttime already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but... We left things as they were, and left things as they lay. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Secrets or memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. I mean, ours wasn't really that embarrassing at all. It was just kind of silly. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle... Jeez. I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. But what I didn't know is that even is that even then a tragedy was taking place. Really? A tragedy? No, well, that's all it was, guys. Just a tragedy. <laughs> I can't not use that scene when that happens. What was the tragedy?
Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active. I mean, for example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? There's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of a moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. To make that choice, then put it into action, is way harder than just letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve, so maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading between the lines. <laughs> Uh-oh, <laughs> I might have missed something there. Oh, Weave Tome, are you familiar with uh, Unavowed? I love that game. I actually want to play it again sometime. As I, I did stream it like three years ago or something, but it was fantastic. And you can play as different characters and um, handle the puzzles differently, so it'd be great to try again sometime. Morning. Good morning. Good morning! <laughs> That'll give you nightmares. Oh my gosh. Oh, you might have been there for that Weebatome. Nice. Yeah, that was such a good game. <laughs> nice reaction. I got to see you didn't... Or I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up. So instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? <laughs> Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy bunny classmates? What? Say what? <laughs> Say what? <laughs> your face is all blue, like someone on the verge of death. What happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. Good luck. Something happened to someone. Is it? Was it? No, it can't be. There's no way someone would. But what if? No, what ifs are pointless. Especially now when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. And poof, we're there. <laughs> ah. Okay, so I have a feeling it's going to jump into like a big thing. So it's, it is kind of past time for us to call it. I don't know when I'm going to get a good, like, you know, save spot or like free time where I could save it. So can I just like save it anywhere and it'll resume pretty recently? Like I imagine if I save right now, it'll probably save it like a, or it'll load right when we woke up and uh, the bear was talking to us. So this is probably a pretty good stopping point, honestly, if we save here. On Thursday, when we start, we'll find out who got killed or what kind of tragedy happened. Let's see, I think... Yeah, this is the newest one, or the oldest one right here. We'll overwrite that one. Of course, we would tell them. It's so much fun. I'm glad you guys are... It seems like everyone's still enjoying it, and we're meeting some new folks in the community for this game, which is awesome. So thank you guys all for joining. Let me go through a few... Oops. I always forget how to exit this game. I know! Perfect cliffhanger, Sheely. I love it. So when we start, we'll have something very exciting to find out on the next stream. <laughs> I just know if I keep going, it's probably going to go on for another 30 minutes. Uh, that got me last time. On some of these streams, I'm like, oh, we just need to hit a break point. But sometimes the text and how it goes can go on for like 20 or 30 minutes. So I, I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. It also just seems like a good starting point. We start with something very exciting for the next one. Yeah, you know what happens, but the cliffhanger, I know, I know. So for everybody new, once again, welcome, of course, to the